Let's see. I got uh, not here. Definitely here. One second. Going off like crazy. Uh, webcam to turn on. Uh, uh, shoot. Hello. Welcome. Yeah. Disgusting to hear. Yes, I am the imposter today. I gotta figure out. This is actually the real warp drive. Yeah, that one is. Why isn't my. But uh... I'm also here with my son if he's uh, having any luck here. No. We tested it. It was there. Oh, here we go. Deactivate, we're not showing. I hope he's having there we luck. go. I'm on. But he's not talking, so he must be having some difficulties. Oh, I don't have He's playing he the can't game hear me. here with him, so. Warp Draft can't hear me sure because anyway. I don't have. Uh, I have push talk on yeah, Discord. Uh, he's not pushed to talk, so that's there. okay. I'm going to. I'm here. Okay, I can hear you now. <laughs> Discord. I can see you on the screen, and I have the. I have to have the. Um, I got to have the stream muted. Otherwise, you, uh, <coughs> you'll broadcast through both. You'll Twice. Be... I see. Yeah, so. All right. Cool. <laughs> Richard <Awesome>. Jeremy. <laughs> I believe. I, I believe Starting to sing I that song. Cry. Is yeah. everyone doing tonight? That, my friends, is uh, the best gaming. And he is here yes. on Warp Drive TV. Yes. He's going to be playing some... Microsoft Flight Sim 2020. So sit back and enjoy. Uh, yeah, you're going to see him on the cam, him playing the game. You'll hear my wonderful voice here. So uh, let's get at it. Get game Beast. <laughs> I know I saw him say that. I, was, uh, I don't think actually. So I, I noticed uh, that whenever you launch the game, uh, the Streamlabs does not pick up the followers and subs and it did not donos. doesn't pick it up when you run Streamlabs on your computer although i did it on mine that's weird it, uh, if someone followed right now it'd, it'd probably pop up but yeah whoa that's true um yeah there's no other activity in it. yeah so yeah the first attempt did not go very well heck it's slightly not working now but it's good enough that we can continue forward with it <laughs> But we were having encoding issues, so I'm having drop frames, but it's a lot better than what it was. Tip of the day, I don't have Discord. Well, it wasn't Discord. I don't have Google Chrome running in the background. TIE Fighters? I don't think so. Not necessarily. It's possible, though. Music playing in the background. Is it going to grow? Very quiet. We'll get in the aircraft, you won't hear any of the music playing in the background anyway. Full of actions. I mean, if you wanted to go with these aircraft down this way, but I don't think they have any shooter fighter jets. I don't, I just realized that. They have a jet, but that's this. Uh, the Cessna Citation. I'll be flying the Airbus today, because it's the one I've been flying like crazy. And I'm not going to do Delta. I think we can do uh, American. We feeling good enough to go with them today? <laughs> oh, you want to see your... Okay. Boy stick. Here it is. <laughs> Xbox controller. And I'll be using... Uh, this one right here, I don't know if you can see that good enough or not, to move it up and down. <laughs> Most of it, yeah, you, you laugh at me. Most of it's going to be autopilot. I would have a joystick. I'd love that, so I could actually have a thruster, because you'll see during landing and takeoff, I am not so good at controlling the, uh, a thrust. So I have autopilot do it. Fly upside down. I don't know if a commercial jet can do that very well. I think you'll, uh, I think you'll probably like this game, and you'll be rolling into uh, a joystick and controller, yaw pedals, and everything soon, huh? Yeah, I was thinking about buying them, but they are not cheap. It's the same reason I don't have the steering wheel anymore. What should my? Oh, here we go. Since you call me this uh, during the stream, I'll make my tail number. X-Man. 
<laughs> and my call nice. sign will be American, obviously, because we're doing an American flight. Flight number. Anyone have any numbers? Three digit number? 187. <laughs> 666. Ah, I'm good. Richard, Richard says 042. 0 for 2. <laughs> I like Kamix's thinking, though. You know, no, we're not, I, no, I was we're not kidding. Gonna, I'm not going to do the sign, but it is the sign of the beast and your game beast. Yeah. Um, well, don't use your CBC. <laughs> uh, I don't have a credit card. At 999. <laughs> the number, this is a number that they're going to say. They're going to say American uh, 042. Or 999. Oh my. Making them saying niner, niner, niner in a row actually sounds like fun. I'm probably gonna do that. <laughs> just to hear what they have to say. Six nine or six. That's they'll say it like that. Could mix this. In regards, I don't even remember my CBC number anyway. Actually, hold on. I'll combine both your ideas. Six he wanted uh yes <laughs> play I like the music I don't know that's such a good question uh do you know why warp drive why um, they put er at the nine they say niner instead of nine um I'm not completely sure, but it could have something to do with uh, the German word for no being nine. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's actually, actually, it's got something to do with uh, like how you pronounce words or something. I, I believe that's the, I believe oh. that's a real, the real reason. It's not nine. Nice. No, it's not because it's German. No, it's because whenever you... People tend to mumble when they talk. We know that so for sure. It's like, oh yeah, this is like uh, 319 or 394. And it's like, what was that? 394. When you say niner, it's the only way to say niner properly is to enunciate the the word niner. You can't say niner. Because even if you say niner, <laughs> even if you mumble, it sounds like niner. But you don't have to say three or. <laughs> uh, no, Comixus. Uh, it's uh, text to speech. It's automated. I was actually just getting ready to say after he was done talking. You see all these little green aircraft I'm just kind of hovering over? They're actual real life aircraft that are flying around right now. So, although it won't have real life air traffic, uh, yeah, air traffic sound radio, uh, it will uh, still communicate with them like these flights because we'll be flying out of Tampa decide to change where we're going to depart out of it's actually a little bit windy down there you can see there's a lot of clouds right here we'll see I know there's a I think I heard about a hurricane coming up over here so am I right on that every storm's going up that way in the Gulf Um, but I, I do know <laughs> marshmallows. <laughs> then we would eat them all, <laughs> or just rich would. Yeah, just rich. Rich eats all the marshmallows. Oh, I zoomed in way too far there. Munch a munch a munch a munch a munch He's like Pac-Man when he has marshmallows. Jeez. Or I, I don't even know where we're gonna land. That's a good question. Um. So it's very cloudy here, so if you want to see me miss a landing, you do that. Um, pretty true. Most of the U.S. is, like, dead. Just drought. No real rain. Just a whole bunch of sun. Not actual dead. I'd hope that everyone's dead. I want to go. I was thinking, uh, where is it? You can go to Atlanta. Hotlanta. 
Uh, Hartsfield. ATL. You want me to fly all the way from uh, Tampa to Pittsburgh? Rich? Let's see how long that flight is. An hour and 40 minutes. That's real life flight time, and that's the one that's going to be in the game, too. <laughs> you want to rethink that, yeah. Uh, it probably hit about two hours, knowing, like I said earlier, how slow I can fly. I was thinking, uh, there is, um... Where's this at? Washington? There's I guess a... Dulles. It's Dulles International. Is that up in Washington, D.C.? Mm-hmm. Well, well uh, uh, Ronald Reagan. Okay. I'll probably do the National Airport. What is that? That's really small. Yeah, the runways are really small. We would not be able to use, not be able to land there. Baltimore, Washington. International. Rival? At yeah, hour and a half. You're gonna fly to Baltimore? I thought yeah. you were flying to Charlotte. Well I would have. Uh that's only gonna be Why do you like Charlotte so much, Warp Drive? I don't like Charlotte. I hate it. You're always recommending Charlotte. You're like, everyone, go fly to Charlotte. It's the most amazing airport of all time. Well, this it's... is what I usually say. If you're looking to fly to a place that you won't necessarily be able to land at or take off from, then go to Charlotte. <laughs> do they have good food? No. Is it an I... international airport? Yes, it is. It should have good food then. Like a TGI Fridays to... or something. I was going to say, should oh, we okay. go to Dallas? I guess if you call TGI Fridays good food. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> I screwed that up. All right. I know where you should fly, Xavier. I was thinking Dallas. No, no. Go to go to Pearson International. Where's that north, Go north of, go to, go to Michigan. See right, see right there is Detroit, right? To the top right, you see the see the yellow star to your right, right, yeah. right, right, Hold right. On. Go right, go up. This right star? There, no, 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 go up. You were at it, right at it. Look. Oh, yeah. Left, left, right there. Toronto Pearson. How do you keep missing it? <laughs> Toronto Pearson. There you go. That's in actually in Mississauga. That's a that's a two hour and. Five minute flight. Mississauga? Mississauga. Go to Slovakia. Hey, Comixus wants you to go to Slovakia. This thing uh, flies in real time. You know how yeah. long it would take? <laughs> I don't know if the Airbus would have enough fuel for that. Hold on. Get the Concorde. <laughs> Talk about good gas mileage. <laughs> Get the Concorde. You're such a jerk. Fly the supersonic Concorde. Make it, right? across, make it across the Atlantic in three hours. I was going to do... Uh, we'll go to Dallas. How's that sound? What we'll the fly? Forward? Yeah, we'll have to fly through some weather and get out. Because it is really cloudy in Tampa right now. Actually, I believe it's Don't raining. Don't mind the weather. It's raining in Tampa. Can you check on that? You want me to check on it? Someone can. That's... Yeah, do something. Jeez. I am doing something. I'm freaking ordering dinner. Oh, yeah, that's right. We're going to take the comic off. relief. <laughs> Exclamation <laughs> point play. <laughs> Kamek says, I know you want to join. If you got the game and I turn a multiplayer, we can fly together. Uh, if you don't mind paying $60 for the game, because it's still. You know, yeah. uh, we'll set runway one left as departure. There we go. Oh, you know, I forgot to do turn down my graphics setting. Well, I can do it during the gameplay. You don't have to reset the. Oh my goodness! Uh uh. Uh. Rich, I don't know if you're watching the stream. Do you see all these uh, green aircraft? Nah. <laughs> it's busy over in Dallas right now. Usually is. It's a major airport. Major, major airport. Okay, runway 3 1 right. Let's see, what's it? How long is it here? 9,000? We'll do it. It says the arrival. Boom. We'll make it high altitude airway since it will be a long flight. Oof. 
Been waiting for sale. We're almost there. It takes forever to get a flight plan set. I just have to take longer because I'm being distracted. There we go. Distractions! So total flight time is going to be an hour 46 minutes. So we're taking off from Tampa and we'll land at Dallas Fort Worth International. Ooh, that's a nice flight. Yeah. Um, and I'm taking off really weird because that, that means I'm going to sharp turn as soon as I take off. Good. Mm -hmm. So departure to the left. Yeah. One left. Bang play. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I think I can do that. I think this is physically possible by a plane right here. I don't even know how I can do that. So I have pilot, let's talk. Yes, we will. That is actually my plan was to put it on autopilot and we'll just fly out there. So let me fix that before we deal with that. Uh, we're in one left. Is that going to make a better one? No, nope, that's okay. I'm just going to turn that back to direct. Yeah, and that should still be good. Good. All right, good enough. Make sure this is on live. That's on live. I got. Live players off. Weather and time is live. Sorry. If you're out there playing the game and wanted to fly past me, I did turn that off. After like last night's shenanigans where I didn't tell Rich this, but we did end up having a flight come right towards me. There's no shenanigans. There is none. There is none shenanigans. But we did have a, we did have a flight last night when I was when they were playing marbles that uh real life aircraft was in the same flight path as me uh of course to answer rich's question from last night right before they hit you they just disappear <laughs> so unfortunately low time you guys are going to be ready for this oh drop frames there i'll back up again oh yes thanks for doing that warp drive i uh check us out on our social media Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Discord, and YouTube. All the you, YouTubes, just put anywhere. You can find us anywhere you want. Just don't stalk us. Mm -hmm. Not that that'd be weird. <laughs> oh, he can read chat. Mixes. I don't have to say it out loud. It is better, Marvels, because you got me. When you have me playing it, you get a better experience. So maybe we should just uh, a switch warp drive one night. I just play marbles for you. Yeah, I can do that. I know, can mix his loves marbles. Well, we might turn this into marbles if we, uh, well, make a hard turn and everyone's brain turns into marbles. Very true. Well, welcome to Tampa International. We are just right off runway one left. Really cloudy. It looks beautiful. Here's our I think, aircraft. I think before you start the flight, that you should go over the entire um, spiel that they go over in the plane for us. Oh, yes. Uh, <laughs> one second. Yeah, the the pre-flight checklist. Oh, no, you did the safety. The safety. The safety. Yeah. <laughs> just, before just I for, forget, I get turned on my graphics settings. All right. Yeah, let me pull that up real quick. Nah. I had it saved somewhere. Mr. Role Player himself. <laughs> well, I'm the pilot. I don't do that. <laughs> Let's make sure landing lights are on. Run right light is on. Engines are good. Flaps are set. I, it's actually making me drive onto the runway, which I have not had to do yet. So, I've been cleared to take off. I just gotta see am I being allowed to go up to. Climb and maintain 6,000. Wow. At the speed here. 220 is the max. I'll always do 215. Boom. I gotta look it up. I forget where it was. Of 
forget what it is. They have a safety video? No. Oh, even worse. I don't know, maybe you guys can do it. You guys could be... Oh, you guys are my flight attendants. Warp Drive and Wrench are my flight attendants. Warp Drive is your flight attendant. Oh, what are you? Are you the co-pilot? <laughs> Attention, ladies and gentlemen. Before we, before we take off while we're taxiing out to the runway, I'd like to take a few minutes to go over some safety precautions. Bit First of all, if you take a look, if you take a look at the seat back cushion in front of you, in the pouch there will be a safety instruction manual. Please take it out and follow along. Either you've been on too many flights or you're reading. <laughs> I'm, I've just been on too many flights, man. Oops. <laughs> this is fasten your seatbelt at all times during the flight, unless the captain has taken the seatbelt sign off. To fasten your seatbelt, take, take the clasp side and insert it into the... I don't even know what they say at this point, right? By now, I'm like... Oh, we're drifting. Have your tray table up, and your seat back in the full upright position. Have your tray table up. Oh, I hate you. Yep. That's why you won't die if you crash, because your tray table was up. All right. You're on the runway, getting ready to take off. Just wait for clearance. Parking brake on. Parking brake set. I'm going to turn on that. That's on. All right. Flaps are set and ready to go. I got all the lights on, so I blind everyone during takeoff. <laughs> but we're going to depart out, and we have to make a sharp turn. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, we got autopilot for that. It does look great. I thought that external view made it look really good. Uh, but during the flight, I might do this. Oh, which one is it? There you go. Or is it 11? Oops, 12. There we go. So we can uh, sit in the quote-unquote passenger seat. But, that said, flaps are ready. We are good to go. Must be that. All right, who's ready? I know I'm not. I can, this I can see. Take off, take off, take off. I can see there's a massive crosswind, so this is going to be fun. That's what she said. You can do it. Don't distract me. <laughs> Boost. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 120 is V1. There's V1. 160 is V2, which means I gotta rotate right about now. We are in the air. I'm gonna put the gear up, bring back the flaps. You're climbing. Spirit Wings 53927 miles southeast inbound ILS runway one left approach. Alright, and gauge auto throttle. Cleared ILS runway one. Make her left turn. Is, uh, up. Begin her left turn here. Look at how beautiful this is. A uh, Florida. That is air traffic control. <laughs> Pray for peace. We ate it up so far. All right. We've not turned on air autopilot yet, so yeah, I would continue to pray for me as we do a steady climb up to 6,000 feet. And that's really, really bright. But hey, it makes this. I did take off with the controller successfully without killing myself. I don't think I do upside. I've actually uh, off camera tried to do the upside down thing, which I will not try now because uh, let's just say there's second. Uh, I've tried to do it before, but it doesn't allow you. All right, we hit six thousand. Uh, autopilot. Six thousand right. followers. What? I wish. 
I think I'm actually flying towards the sun. Oh, why can't I turn that? That's actually air traffic control switching me in between things. Let's start marbles. Tampa departure American Second. 6906 is out of 7,200 feet for 6,000 feet. Turn that off. Uh, run rain lights off. Those light can American be off. Tampa departure continues right. as planned. Altimeter 29er, decimal 9er tree. We had to do a descent because I wasn't paying attention. Way, way, way too far above my assigned altitude, so they can—they're going to continue to scream at me for it. But since we're at it, we have a nice external view. Send someone view. to follow you. Yeah. Yeah. Do they do that? Is if that I was like on a thing. <laughs> uh, real life, I don't think they do. Now that doesn't mean. It won't. I mean, if you're not flying in the correct path and stuff like that, they'll probably do something. What about landing gear? I definitely have this pulled up. If I pulled them out right now, I'd regret it. Trust me. That's what she said. <laughs> you sound like me. Yeah. Oh, look, they're already yelling at me. They expedite my descent. Get that guy out of the air now. Uh, okay, there we go. You guys can't see it, but <laughs> of course you can't see it because I have it. Uh... There we go. This is what I'm seeing on my second screen. But we are allowed to climb up to 14,000 feet, but we will proceed with our climb. Our flight attendant's too busy and has left the area. So, I have not turned off the seatbelt sign yet. Without a doubt. I don't even trust myself at this point. And you can't. Unfortunately, it's right here. It's the seatbelt sign. But if you hold if you hold it over, it says in off, which means interoperable. It sucks. I can't turn it on, have that nice ting sound. Us transferring us back and forth. Going to one tree tree decimal tree two five American. One tree tree. They don't say three. If you listen close enough, they're saying one tree tree. Center American six nine six is climbing through eight thousand two hundred. Are you making fun of someone's list? <laughs> I am American making fun of the Texas speech that is currently saying instead of three one tree tree. I think he's saying tree. One, one tree tree. tree. Three, three. I'm back. Sorry. Yeah, three. and if I would have went with the niner 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 call sign, he would have actually said it because right now he's saying American six niner six. American, what you doing? Why can't we hear what they're saying? Yeah, it's on stream. It should be going through, guys. You can everyone hear oh, it on okay. the stream? Uh, I'm not listening to the stream. I gotta mute the stream because it okay, doubles. That's right. That's right. Sorry. Well, if you are watching on Twitch, you will hear the aircraft sounds and this, and hopefully the music. But I think the aircraft's too loud. So now yeah, this looks beautiful. I'll turn that off. And, uh, I'll pop that out again. Boom. Uh oh, buffering, 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 buffering. Uh oh. Buffering for you, my friend. I'm still doing good. It is beautiful. Um, this, uh, it's called a livery for this aircraft. It did not come with the game itself. It was a pack I downloaded separately. Uh, and I think whoever did the American design did a really good job. Uh, yesterday I had the Delta. Oh, look, there's the uh, X-Man tail sign on the back. Mm. We've been allowed to go up to flight level two two zero. Climb and maintain flight level two two zero, American six nine zero six. There we go. I'll go to the wing view. Now we're inside the aircraft in the passenger seats. Are we playing marbles back here. <laughs> <laughs> we're streaming it. United three 
Yeah. Streaming marbles from the back. Streaming marbles? <clears throat> mm-hmm. Everyone see my shirt? And that's really hard to see because how small it is. The Bob Ross. Crackford uh, says, this is, uh... If I ever make mistakes in life, and it says... Let's make them birds. They're birds now. There you go. If you ever make mistakes, mistakes in life, just turn them into birds. It's his advice. Looks like we're still doing good here. We're still climbing up, but... Look at those clouds. Where are we right now? I think we're just off the coast. Yep. We're in the Gulf, I believe, right now. Oops. Whoa. Yep, we are in the Gulf. We'll be in the Gulf for a while, actually, because that's where most of the flight's going to be, is from here on over to about here. We'll get out of the Gulf of Mexico. Start our turn here, and then we'll probably just send right about here. No, it, it will fly straight in. <clears throat> all, all things correct, we should just land. United 351, you are 17,000 feet above your assigned altitude. <clears throat> Given my luck, I don't know. We may or may not make it. I've landed successfully each time. Uh, just a few issues with the uh, throttle. That was it. But to be fair, I'm using a controller. There's a lot of air traffic out here. That's fine. Just wait till we get close to and in. Uh, Texas, because it's going to get really, really populated. Crash. Rick says, you're not helping my luck today. You know that, right? Because <laughs> you know it's going to happen. Or my game will crash. That would be considered a crash, right? Oh, we've been, we've been cleared to climb to level 320. So we're still on a climb. I have, at this point in time, turned off, in, in quotations here, I turned off the seatbelt sign, so my uh, flight attendants in the back can tell everyone that I have turned it off, that they can move around if need be. And what is meal service today? Well, it's Just American remember, flight. Just customers, there is no smoking. <laughs> You get that huge charge if you go into the, uh, the, uh, laboratory. 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 And, uh, smoke. Ooh, we got some icing. Ah! Uh, <laughs> oof. That is a lot of ice. Uh, I gotta turn on my de-icing there. A wing, engine one, two, and that heat just really goes. No one said anything. Here, back. All right. Burb. Be right back. Yeah, well, we'll see about that. We do have some icing going on, and uh, <laughs> it's actually really bad. Unfortunately, they don't have it modeled into where if I uh, go in here and turn on anti-ice, it just won't. Well, for some reason, the ice it. Must be really cold. And it's bad to have ice because it actually it's less it's like less fuel efficient in a way. If you get too much ice, it weighs down the plane so much that it can go into a spin. Mm. And over, I know Comix just really wants that, but yeah, can we see that? <laughs> <laughs> You actually, uh, you don't get to see the plane crash in this game. You see it get close to crashing, and then the screen goes black, and it just says well, crash. Well, yeah, unless you have what I, I turned it off, and all, all you get is you hit the ground, and then it just instantly stops. <laughs> <laughs> but you can land in this game without landing gear, and it even has the scraping of the metal sound effects. Like emergency landing, eh? Yep. Hey. Hey. Shut up, Rich. Hey. Hey, at least Stop he didn't it. say car. I'll make him say car. Car? Yeah. We all think he says it with like an accent, but he says he doesn't. 
I also don't use the word moist or sh so is it satchel? <laughs> <laughs> satchel! Yeah, I don't like those words, they're uh, stupid. I don't get the satchel one. The moist the, the moist word I, I get too, because I know a lot of people don't like that word. Alright. Yeah. Three twenty. Does it think I'm at? Oh, does it want me to stay at three twenty? Look at me, my aircraft's telling me what to do. <laughs> Those clouds, man, they're just beautiful. American 6 9 or 6 climb and maintain flight level 380. Alright, I've been clear to go up to level. Climb and maintain flight Oops, level 380, three. American 6 9 or 6. Oh, you can even see the ice on the wing. The cabin feel. I told you it's my luck tonight. I'm good. I, I, I like the fact that they have. Uh, the icing effect in there, but I'm also kind of glad they don't have the what happens if you get too much ice effect. Because real life, you'd never want to have ice on the aircraft. It's really bad. Uh, it surprised me I have it, though, because I'm not in any clouds right now. Usually that's when it happens. Some of it's melted, but not all of it has. But it does get really cold. <laughs> Yes, uh, do you, did you want to, uh, sit on the wing right here and, uh, hit the puck back and forth? <laughs> yeah, Between each yeah, side? Yeah, icing going on. Yeah. Uh, I should, uh, I, if I knew we were going to have this much ice, I should have got the Can Canada Air plane. Uh -huh. And since there's, there's a good amount of people watching, if you ever wanted to get this game fly over your own house, if you live in a smaller city, you will find it, but what you might get might shock you. Why is that? We I flew over my own house, and uh, I took off from our, our local airport down here. Flew over our house, and what I saw was probably the funniest thing you'll ever see. Uh, it turned our house into a warehouse, and in our backyard, it turned our pool into a shed. Well then. Uh, and then I flew over the local football stadium. Uh, the the field was replaced by a ginormous Walmart. <laughs> so, <laughs> good enough, right? So if you if you live in like a big city, like uh, I know for sure, like New York. Um, and if you, even if you live out of the states, if you live in like uh, Europe, some of the bigger cities, uh, like London, you will you'll definitely get a better model. Uh, they spend a lot more time doing that with the AI. But for smaller, uh, Cleveland looks pretty good. I uh, I took off from I've taken off from Cleveland a few times actually, and I've not had any Sorry. issues. <laughs> I landed in Columbus. Uh, that was interesting. Uh, they did no darn it's, it. It's definitely what are you yelling about? I didn't want to put a block there. Oh Gosh, he's playing seven days to die. All I was gonna say is playing Minecraft and went how? Uh, no <laughs> You'd pay to see that <laughs> Well, Kamix just wanted us to switch over to marbles while uh, uh, while the flight was happening They could just switch over to Minecraft and uh, ooh. Uh, everyone just watched it on stream, that really hard yank there. That was, uh, that was some really rough turbulence. Oh my goodness. Wow, that was really bad. I can't assure you it was not me accidentally hitting the rudder pedals. I think. Now you're in the clouds. Yep. You can assure that? I cannot. Mutually assured destruction. Well, I, I just saw the, uh, turbulence. Yeah, well, did you see how bad that jerk was? Yeah. I don't know what caused yeah, that. Yeah, your dad is a jerk. Yeah, that's possible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm messing. I'm gonna eat his food when it gets here. You gonna bring it up to me so I can eat it in front of everyone? <laughs> I'll just do it like it does. Walk away, people. Walk on through the 
A little trouble over here. <laughs> Don't mind my good line, dude. Good, good, effort. good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, if Captain you look out speaking. through the window, you'll see uh, the Gulf of Mexico uh, <laughs> full of uh, full of um, um, uh, lots of uh, people of uh, Spanish descent. Which reminds me, I got to eat this taco. <laughs> Oh. That's perfect timing, Mixus. <laughs> that applause came right at the end of his uh, his speech. There, I love it. Crap, I gotta get out of this mode. There we go. Yeah, go control space. The camera controls in this game gotta be one of the most confusing. Uh, because I still figured them out. I can change the weather and all that. Really cool. Mid flight, just make it go to cloudy right to thunderstorms. Wait, can I do that? Storm. Oh! Press the evac button. Evac. <laughs> oh, wow. Whoa, that looks cool. Wait, hold on. We gotta get out of this mode. And look at the, uh... Oh, lightning! Did you see that? Oh, that's cool. This flash is down there is lightning. Wow. <laughs> we might have to do an evac. We can even hear the thunder a little bit. The plane's too loud, but... Wow, that's amazing. Are you able to check on, like, the people in the plane? Or no? You know what? I'm about to see if I can fly through the plane here. Let me turn this back to live weather. Really cloudy and a whole bunch of turbulence. Very good. Uh, if I go to the showcase mode here, three camera, camera drone, I can move the camera down wherever I want. Kind of move it down now. Hold on. <laughs> I haven't figured out how to move it down. Uh, hmm. That moves it down, and then it's probably a button, just like uh, like control or something will move it down. There's oh. a button that'll like page uh -huh. down or something. Oh, the home button is that. Oh, the end button. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure that out. Well, let's look. Go to controls here. Where are controls? Question, did I skip it? Oh, there it is. Oh, I want my uh, keyboard control. Or drone. Did you try F, Xavier, on your drone? Do F. <laughs> yeah. F and R. That's what it is. F and R is up and down. Oh! It is. I'm looking at the instructions right now. It's Alt F4. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. That'll get her done. And here's your uh, interior yeah. shot. <laughs> so they didn't go all out with this game. That's what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, definitely not. But I can get really close. I mean, I can get like a. Oh. Did you want to see the ice? They did really good at that. They did too. Uh, no, so it's R to raise up, F to go down. All right. But they did model uh, this right here. Right? I turn mm -hmm. the camera around. Boom. Looks pretty good. Oh. <laughs> uh, I can assure you there is a door that exists right here. Uh, control space to reset the camera, and I don't know where I am. I'm upside down. Fair enough. But I can fly this around anywhere I want. Because I can, uh... Oh, that looks beautiful. If my... Uh, if my whole entire thing wasn't all white, iced up. Look at those clouds! 
enjoy enjoy the flight. Uh, I'm going to go upstairs for a few and wait for the uh, DoorDash guy to get here. Okay. I'll keep uh, the stream up and I'll watch on my mobile too, but I'll be back shortly. I shouldn't even have to keep that anymore. Hey, insert, insert. Here we go. Oh. Jacksonville Center, American 6 Niner. I don't know all of the camera controls. I think Alt F4 is one of them, though. American I'll take Rich's advice here. Yeah, right. Continue to start Let's turning sneeze. Following heading tree zero zero. Diona. I didn't know you were in here. Is wait, who is that? Rich? I have no idea. I almost feel like that's my dad, but You're right. That's the name he uses. Yeah, that was the name he uses in his game. I don't know if it's just like a uh, mobile Twitch account or... Because it's a moderator. Shouldn't be. I don't know why he would do that. If he was going to watch, just watch it on... But how's the stream look, uh, Rich? You know you're watching on good. Twitch. Okay, good. We we figured out how to up upscale the uh, quality. So it should yeah, be at 1080p good. now. So, the highest quality you can get on Twitch. Well, I mean, you can probably do 4K. I don't know if that works or not, but... Uh, no, I think it's 1080p, 1080. 60... Yeah, 60 frames a second. Oh, and there goes that light. No one saw that. That light is gonna, gonna kill me. i put it right there. How's that look? Actually, how's this look? Oh, glowing. Hey, it's Weepoo Bree! Weeaboo-bree! She joined us, and we're not even... Okay, yeah. Diona is... That is TV. weird. Must be on his second account. He looks like he switched back. Uh, yeah, but Weeboo Bree's here. She is in the flight with us. She is in the back because her brother's flying the plane. I get to do what I want. Actually, no. It'd be American that makes that deal. Yeah, so we're just not going to go there. I'm not that neat. Calm down. I don't have to do with this thing. It kept falling down. Just like stick it right underneath here and it's like, hi. I'm your pilot today. We will be flying to Texas, uh, specifically Dallas. Uh, I look like I'm telling a scary story. <laughs> yes, put the hype in chat and our social media. Hey, hey, Facebook, hey, hey. Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and Discord. Please join our Discord if you want to talk to us. It is so much fun. The amount of fun you can have on Discord is unbelievable. At least in my opinion. Am I wrong? If you know how to use it, unlike I'm, Rich. I'm, I'm too new to Discord. Too new? Yeah. You can do a whole lot on Discord. It's a lot of fun. It's a really fun way to build a connect your friends before I drop this on the ground. Fix that. Yeah. Little Breeze here. We got, we had, uh, I think Comix is still here. He was the one that did the social. Thanks for doing that. Yeah, on our Discord, our YouTube channel, I'm pretty sure if you guys have watched Warp Drive 2D on the Marbles, you will know that he has, uh, had Weeboo Bree make some videos for her. I think it's like what? How many? How many views or likes was it supposed to be? Can't remember anymore. Five hundred thousand. Five hundred thousand views. Half a million. Oh, uh, yes. Thanks. Thanks for. Uh... Thanks for complimenting the fact I made my bed, so everyone can see. I made my bed. I didn't want it to look bad. I think you have a cool clock in the background. Oh, the one uh, right on the back wall? Yes, that's a... Uh, it's one of the... I forgot the first part. Uh, no, it's a Dakota. It has the Westminster chime. So in about five minutes, uh, you won't be able to hear it because uh, I made sure the sensitivity on the microphone's down because literally this this big thing right here, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, is the portable air conditioner. So we'll, I turn on the sensitivity so you won't hear the clock go off, but at five, about five minutes from now, it will 
scoot across the floor here, it will go off and it will play that famous sound to everyone else. It looks nice in the background. Uh, and if I got up, if I got up and turned, I shouldn't have to because my whole bedroom's smart, so I can turn off the lights from my phone. If I wanted to do that, I'd go to the Google Home app here. Bring that out of my do face. Do they change colors also? Yes. Nice. So I can turn off my overhead lights. And boom. Now all the light you see is my lamp. There's a lamp right over here. It's a floor lamp. And then the Christmas lights go around the room. The whole entire square room that it is. And the bright white window I have open in the background just because yes. I need more light in the back. So everyone can see my beautiful bed. <laughs> Such a beautiful job on it. But we are cruising at 38,000 feet. And uh, not a whole lot I have to do from here. I think we're still in the Gulf. Yep, we are. Rich, I think he wants you to sing that. You know the sound the clock makes, right? Bing, bong, bing, bong. Bong, bong, bing, bong. Bing, bong, bing, bong, bong. <laughs> bong, 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 bing, bong. It's pretty good. I'll take that out again so I can see what I'm doing. Well, I hope everyone's Saturday is going very well. We'll be flying, though, I'm not going to lie. We are, and we're actually cruising at 240 knots. So if we pull up the questionable Siri here and ask her, Hey Siri, 240 knots in miles per hour. That would be 276.19 miles per hour. So we're doing 276 miles per hour. Uh, and for everyone that lives in a different part of the world that needs to know it in kilometers per hour, too bad. Um, <laughs> I'm kidding. I actually don't know. The conversion on that would be really weird, would it? Uh, I'm not sure. I'd ask Siri. But I'm I fighting zombies, so I can't look right now. Oh, good enough. You're playing Seven Days to Die. What tribe says he doesn't like knots, especially in his shoelaces. Good enough. I don't think me. I don't think anyone loves knots in their shoelaces. Yeah, uh, ask Siri here. Two hundred forty knots in kilometers per hour. Four hundred forty-four point four eight kilometers per hour. Four hundred forty-eight. That's that's actually really fast. <laughs> it seems fast for us. It's not. Right. It's only two hundred ninety miles per hour. Which we can almost hit that speed in a car <laughs> down here on Earth. <laughs> well, yeah, on the ground. I should say, not that I'm in space. Although, if I go up high enough, I think I can achieve orbit. <laughs> Could you in that plane? I don't know uh, if the pressurization in this Airbus is good enough for that. But I do have another game. I have to stream this one day. It's called uh, Simple, uh, Simple Rockets. And I have just currently achieved orbit out of Earth and arrived at Mars. We just landed. Not in Warp Drive TV. Your car, your little uh, Kia, would not do 290 miles per hour. I'd love to see that. Would that be funny? Little Kia Soul going 290 miles per hour. <laughs> <laughs> it would probably melt if it went over 90. Oh, it would surprise me. I think that most cars are made to only go 100, and everything else is like almost too much for it. Unless you have a V8. What, did you hear the clock go off? It did just go off. It goes no, off about a minute early. Yeah, it, yeah, he is right. I did hear it go off in the background before I almost unplugged my microphone here. That would be bad. It didn't go off. It does go off about a minute and a half early. I have not adjusted that. I don't want to pull that thing off the wall because it's heavy. It's battery operated too, so that the sound you hear is really just fake. Unfortunately. All right. Seeing where we are, we are almost a land. Once we hit our waypoint star. We will be entering on the land probably about a few minutes after that, and then we will begin our descent into... Madness! <laughs> yeah, into madness, because I don't know if we're going to make it or not, but 
Where did I say we were going? Dallas Fort Worth? Crap, I can't remember where we're going. Are you already there? You're not already there. Uh, American 2664, you are 20,000 feet above your assigned altitude. Uh, and then maintain 10,000 feet. I don't remember. That's on my waypoints, but that isn't going to be helpful. That's not for us. ATC's talking to everyone else but us. Uh, we're at the near the airport. You make a flight plan. I'm gonna look something up here now because I actually don't remember. Oh, yeah, you're right. Thanks, Warp Drive. Dallas Fort Worth International. It is... Actually, that's its code, it's DFW. It's actually not busy right now. Uh, a live view. You're gonna... No, no autofocus? Nope, I have it turned off. Anyway, it does say uh, right now it's a little busy. At Dallas International Airport. For Saturday, it it's below average. Oh, so hopefully, no one saw me just hit my head on that, did I? Nope. We'll see, I guess. Is Kamixa still here? I haven't heard from him in a hot second. Probably hiding. Yep, you're still here. Good enough. American six nine six contact oh. Jacksonville Center on one three two decimal one. Alright, they're transferring us over again on the radio. One three two decimal one American six nine six. I have that all automated so I don't have to worry Jacksonville Center, American six nine or about six doing the uh, air traffic zero. control stuff. But uh, close this we can just see this here. Um During the release of this game they wanted to uh, they wanted to put, uh, forget, forget what it's called, but it's like a really big community uh, for air, tra air traffic um, communities. I guess you can call it air, air traffic. Yeah, we'll call it the air traffic control. Now, they haven't implemented it in the game yet. Essentially what it was, and it's been around for a while, because if you had Microsoft Flight Simulator X or Prepare 3D or you know, simulators like that, you were and to get onto the service where you could communicate with real life people while you uh -huh. fly your aircraft and talk to real life air, uh, air traffic controllers with your own microphone. Uh, I think it's a really cool idea. I'll never do it um, because it's it would be too much. It'd be way too much. DFW isn't usually that busy, George. And you know what? We were thinking about going. It's about to be the same route time to get to the intercontinental. Uh, I, that just it surprises me though that an international airport is less busy than intercontinental. Maybe I got those backwards. Is is, it, is intercontinental bigger than an international, or is it literally the same meaning, just has a cool name? Well, question. welcome, Duck A. Duck A? Duck? How Duck A! Duck A? Duck A! Well, welcome. I know it's not marbles. We'll, we're doing. We're planning on that tomorrow. So, yes, if you're watching, we do plan to do marbles tomorrow. Not this boring stuff. To be fair, pilots don't do a whole lot. I mean, they do do a lot, even during this part. But um, they don't do just a whole lot uh, during this autopilot part. Sure, I mean I, I can know that, tell you that for sure. Wish I could. Back wobble feet. Anything works, right? Uh, oh, my 
hit that. <laughs> really did just slam my phone on that. Look at me getting all angry. Arr. I know. Raging playing flight simulator. Raging pilot plays flight simulator. 2020. Flies plane into ocean. <laughs> In this game, if I flew it straight down to the ocean right now, nothing would happen. Uh, actually, I think it would either stop the game or it would actually just send me 50,000 feet back in here. <laughs> I'll turn to the quickest rocket everyone's ever seen. Can anyone hear the music that's playing in the background? Going to one tree, four decimal, one I don't five know. American six nine six. You're a mute. Jacksonville Center, American six nine or six flight level tree eight zero. I can hear it, but I have my sound turned down American a lot. Six nine or six Jacksonville Center, continue to star as planned. Make sure our control still talking to us. At first, it had a lot of people talking in the Discord at the same time, so having background music was useless. But the aircraft is also really loud, especially when you go into an external view. Oh, music really doesn't matter there. You hear the music? Is it quiet? It's quiet for me. We're still all iced up here. Still playing hockey on the wings, I see. Mixes. Didn't give up on that, did you? Oh, I keep forgetting to click this button. This button. That button. Oh, wait, what? Oh, that's gonna give someone a seizure. Perfect level. Awesome. Change that. Hold on. Let me, uh. We get a nice view of the uh, engine here, or we can go with the nice wing view. So I think we're gonna stick with that. I wasn't really worried about the music in the background too much anyway, because like I said, this aircraft is generally pretty loud. We're just at cruising altitude right now. So, watching Warp Drive TV's replays on Twitch in the air, playing marbles. Free advertisement. Which he is downstairs. I believe they're eating right now. How dare my family eat without me? <laughs> oh, wait, I think I told him that. <laughs> yes. Well, we're really happy today because uh, we did just in upgrade our internet service to 400 megabits per second. Uh, got to go. Won't see the landing. Well, Comixus, here's what you can do before you go. Um, the, this, obviously, the video will be... Uh, you replay it later. I think it's, it's called Twitch Replay or something like that. And uh, I'm still waiting for the food. We will land. You can actually watch this back later. Uh, I will try to get this video saved and upload to YouTube. Maybe? I don't know. We'll see. It's going to be a long video. But yeah, don't worry about missing the landing, bud. And yeah, thanks for stopping by. It's always good to see you, Hercomixus. Hope to see you crash. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Look, how dare you? This is going to... You guys are all the pat. Everyone in chat is the passenger, so you're you're really asking for it. I feel bad. Everyone in Hashtag chat feel bad man. Yes. Everyone in chat is technically passenger. Warp Drive TV apparently is our flight attendant and Rich, I don't know what you were assigned to. I have no idea. I guess we can, uh, I would like to put you in the co-pilot seat, but I think we would actually... The evac button. Well, here, if you really wanted to do that, just, uh... Right on the wing here, I believe, these two doors, right here, my mouse is around, just push one of them open. It'll <laughs> cause a huge pressure, depressurization, and we'll all go down into a furry, fiery spin into the ocean below us. Nice. I believe we are getting really close to land. There it is. That is the shoreline of, I believe, not Texas. Uh, whatever state's to the right of it. Yeah, wow, I don't know. I think that was pretty sad. I don't know what, uh... That's not Texas. What is it over there? I can't remember. Because this is Texas right here, I believe. I don't know. They don't teach us geography anymore. And if they do, I don't care. Oh, the food is there. Awesome. We 
we're having too much fun tonight. Oh, my back. Wish I would have had like a microphone back there so you could hear it pop. That one don't gross any of you out, right? That'd be like ASMR. Yeah, ASMR during flight. You know, what else are you gonna do? Everyone's sitting in the back while I'm up front. Oh, uh, meal service, that's right. It's an American flight, so we don't have anything special. So I think we're gonna have pretzels and pop. Or for anyone else that lives. <laughs> it's great applause. Uh, yeah, so meals. I've always wanted to be on a flight that actually offers you a good meal. You know, uh, we were talking about last night, whatever flight we took to get to Putacana, uh, it, it was like a really, s I wouldn't say sketchy, because it was actually a really nice aircraft. It was, it was an, a it was, I think it was an A320, just like I'm flying right now. Mm -hmm. I don't remember the name of the, the company, because it really isn't a big company, it's just very local, it was in Cleveland. We took it down there to Putacana, and... It was our first flight ever. We've taken a lot of flights as a family that we actually yeah. got a snack for free. Uh, the snack was just pretzels or goldfish, but you can't go wrong with that. They gave you a snack on a three-hour flight. So, I remember we got, I think me and Weeboobri got uh, pretzels and goldfish. I got a Sprite like always. Peed the whole entire flight back. Trust me, if you're in the airplane bathroom and there's turbulence, good luck if you're sitting down. <laughs> it's not fun. That handle on the side of the uh, bathroom wall will become your friend. I remember coming back from Putacana and trying to land in Cleveland and uh, it was, the weather is just like any Ohio day up here. And it was, uh, and I was thinking it was pretty pretty windy and we got right out under out of the cloud cover and then it felt like the plane went from here and just dipped right back down like a roller coaster came flying right back up everyone's stomach oh uh, it did not feel good that was loud that's like perfect timing I, I don't know what it is with everyone doing these uh, sound alerts like on time yeah Benny Hilty Literally us going from here down to here, then right back up in like a millisecond. And every, it, it, yeah. The G-forces. Yeah, I guess the better term was, it almost felt like, in relatable terms, it could have been like us taking off um, from the ground in a rocket. What heck was that? My phone's not muted. <laughs> I, I can tell you freaked out when it happened, too. Oh man. Oh yeah, so back to what I was talking about with the internet. Uh, we did upgrade our internet service to Spectrum to 400 megabits per second. Big difference? No. What we did this time, well, it has been a pretty big difference so far, but I think the big thing that played into that. I could just crack my pants there a little bit. Just a little bit. Thanks for that work time. <laughs> I can't get anything out because he keeps playing this stuff. Um, yeah, so 400 megabits per second. The, if you guys know anything about internet service, you get like a all in one. We opted out for this this time and just got the mode. Bought our own router for game. It, like, it's a really heavy duty router for the Wi Fi. So far, so good. Everything, good. Every, yeah, it's good, Rich. Everything that you see in this game is not on my computer. Well, it is downloading to my computer. But everything, if I go out to the external view here, all this terrain data is being streamed to my computer over the internet. And also, at the same time, being saved to my computer. Um, because in all, if anyone actually knows the actual storage sizes and how it works, megabytes, gigabytes, terabytes, petabytes, this game itself, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, is I think it's 2.2 petabytes of storage is used for the whole entire globe. That's how much terrain data there is. And all that has to be streamed to thousands of players. So it is unbelievable. 
The only thing that's on the on your hard drive is being switched. We're getting close to uh, Houston though because we're switching us over there. One two seven decimal six I'm talking five, four, American, six, nine, talk. or six. Yeah. All of it is just on big server in the cloud. Azure cloud, I think that's what Microsoft calls it. Mixus is gone, who else is here? I got Warp Drive, uh, Rich, not myself because I'm not watching it. I can watch the actual group. I forget who was in here. Oh, wait, is uh... Weeboo. We yeah, I think Weeboo was eating and watching at the same time. I think Doc was still in here. Not percent sure. Oh, well, I accidentally closed the chat. Yeah, Duck's here. Duck A. Duck A. Just say his full name. Duck oh, you're playing No Man's Sky. I, I never bought the game. Warp Drive TV has it. He loves it. I've seen it. It looks. I've I've played it before. It looks really cool. Um, Rich is playing. Are you still playing Seven Days to Die? No, I stopped. Stop. Okay. Yeah. If anyone wants, you want to spend sixty dollars, and you have, uh, well, of course, to be able to get this game, you can buy it on Steam, but you have to have a, an Xbox account, uh, which is free. But if you wanted to, we become friends up here, and uh, we can play together. Get in our own little server together. Fly around in little Cessnas. Try not to crash into each other. Are you playing on Steam or Xbox? Uh, Steam. This game will come out for Xbox. They haven't yeah. ported it yet, but... It'll look amazing on Xbox. Hiding in my ship. A storm set here. 308... Oh, wow. Yeah, no, I'm good. Imagine if we had those type of storms here, Doc. On Earth. <laughs> We'd all be hiding air bunkers right now. <laughs> if people have those. Basements wouldn't do it, because you'd have the whole house just collapse on top of you. That's hot. Is that 308 degrees Celsius? Yeah. 308 degrees Celsius. If that's correct... What? Actually, I don't have a... Uh... This aircraft doesn't have... It doesn't tell you how cold it is. Up in the air, I can tell you right now it's quite cold up here. But if that's 308 degrees Celsius, well, ask Siri. 308 degrees Celsius of Fahrenheit. That would be 586.4 degrees Fahrenheit. So, like, you're looking at 586 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hot. Not hot enough to melt metal. But definitely enough to scorch some places of the Earth. But I'll tell you what, if you live in the desert, you're already going to be in that type of uh, a deal. Oh, and there's warp drive. Are those my tacos? Yes. Oh, did they mess them up? They put cheese on them. It's Warp Drive! A special appearance by Warp Drive TV! Did you remove it off or just... Let's get some hypes in the chat for Good Warp Drive, drive TV. I will. Okay. Hype, 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 hype. Well, my meal service was just delivered. Oh, so is he the flight attendant <laughs> delivering your in flight meal? Uh, yeah, I guess he would be. <laughs> I, uh, I always ask for plain tacos, Rich, because I don't like, I, I have this thing with cheese, it makes me sick. Not sick, anyway. Uh, but unfortunately, this time, they did put cheese on it because they never listen. So, I guess I'm going to have to eat it with cheese and see how well. Oh, yeah, thanks for that, uh, Rich. Yep. Let's see. This is my first time eating a taco with cheese because I don't normally get it. has got lettuce. I'm not a big fan of that. That's good. Yeah. I don't mind eating that. We'll be starting our descent soon. Yeah, I'm still eating. I don't know where they got it from, but they did a good job. Even though it was the wrong taco. Won't complain too much. Hmm. That is good. It's better than the Taco Bell taco. 
Don't you think Rich gets enough of those, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. It is 6.20. Local time changes. So, we left from Florida. And I think in Texas right now. What time is it in Texas? It's, it's 5.20. So, uh, when we left at Miami, it was... I don't know, five something. When we get in and land into Texas, it's actually going to be an hour behind. A little bit of a back to the future type deal. Right. I love it because whenever I go to Las Vegas, I'll leave Pittsburgh at like 6.30 a.m. and I'll be in Vegas by like 7.50. <laughs> Even though it was a four hour wow. flight. Yeah, but in that, in that sense, it's only been like an hour flight, correct? Correct. Yeah. We haven't had any issues with that. Ever, where, everywhere we flew, it was eastern. Uh, well, I will say when we went to Mexico, the Cancun, that happened, but it really didn't make that much big of a difference for us. But we all, we've all tried to stay in that eastern standard time zone. Mm -hmm. I could We could do central. Being an hour behind isn't that bad. Uh, being all the way on the west coast, eh, that's a little bit different. Being all, what's it, about three to four hours behind? I say that, but then there's probably someone watching from uh, uh, UK or China. China's like 12 hours ahead of us. They're in the future. Yeah. Imagine living over there. That was a whole bunch of cheese that time. Okay. Oh, I in uh in flight meals pretty good so far. Even though the flight attendants messed it out. I won't complain. Because there's no way I can throw the food out the window. Ha! Ah, you throw it out that window behind you though. Yeah, right here. Ah! If I open this up, I'd be sucked out of it. No, the one behind you. Oh. The door. <laughs> Actually, just open the door and throw it at the passengers. Did Warp, did warp Drive buy it? Um, I think Mrs. Warp Drive did. She did the order. Did Warp Drive on camp? Houston. Shh, I'll never know. Oh, stop. Yeah, he's not watching right now. He's left. Got a got away now. Got away yeah. now. See and start singing the blues. What's that blues song? I'm thinking of. I'm blue. For it, I don't know. <clears throat> what did you say? I said I'm too young for it. I don't know. Oh no, I don't think you're too young for it. I think the song was, uh, I'm Blue. What's it? Blue's Clues. Okay, that was a good show. I loved that show growing up. Still, he was only up. good with, what's his name? Yeah, that original Steve. guy. Steve. Well, the song is actually called Blue by Eiffel65. Air shuttle? We have a... <clears throat> he said air shuttle, the air traffic did. I'm thinking, uh, do we have a space shuttle just kind of like flying around here? Or... Ooh, can you buy it? Buy a space shuttle? Okay, that cheese is way too much. Um, no. It'd be fun, though. Oh, man. Minute, no comprendo. Like cheese? That cheese does not taste good to me now. Do you not like cheese? Uh-uh. It makes me... Uh, too much of it can make me sick. Um, I got I about three quarters of the way through that, and the cheese got really thick, and now I don't feel good. Ugh. But the cheese is melted in, so there's no real way to... to yeah, I'll separate it. I guess if uh, if they brought a fork up to me, Houston I could just eat the meat out, and that's good enough. 
Can't get that meat to get strong. It's uh. Yeah, if someone would be nice enough to bring a fork up yeah. to you. Hey Siri, uh, text Dad. Can you bring up a fork so I can eat the meat out? <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Okay, it's sent. Oh no. Even I laughed at that. That was really good. You bring a fork up so I can eat the meat out. Oh, there is real life uh, traffic. Must just flew right past us. Did he say anything back yet? Did he open it? No. Oh. They're probably too busy watching. Uh, Parks and Recreation. Kind of like the office down there. Never get lucky when I say I want. Especially with DoorDash. I don't. It's, obviously, it's not DoorDash that has the issues, but. Five o'clock? Oh, wait. There, it's. American 6906 have the traffic. No, we don't. I don't even see it. It's to my 5 o'clock. That means it's back behind me, right? I don't see it. Oh, yeah, dude. I did see it back there. American 6906 contact Houston Center on 127.65. She's starting to send things. 127.65 for American 6906. He did not answer me. Houston Center Should I send it to my sister? Because I know she'll see it. That's even better. I told my sister, can you grab me a fork so I can eat the meat out? That might concern her. Paper Bray is now scarred. <laughs> ah! Ah! Make <laughs> 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 get that meat. Oh man, I didn't realize you could do that. Oh yeah. Um, crap! I actually just opened it though. I wanted to see. Yeah. <laughs> right. Save that. Uh, bookmark it so I can listen to it later. All right, we're back in. No one answered me. They all just left me alone. They didn't even bring me out of Pepsi. Oh! <laughs> I've texted everyone that lives in this house. No one answers. <clears throat> if I say please. I said please. Well, how's everyone going? Go going. Oh, wow. How's everyone going? How's everyone? Is everyone going really well today? I hope everyone's lives are going, going. Do those Constantly. numbers on the dashboard, like, change or move or anything? Um, yeah, so... This number right here is... It's a barometric pressure. That, I... I've told through air traffic control what that number is. So, yeah, I can't change that one. Uh, this one right here is the speed, so that's how fast the aircraft is going. That's in knots, or I can change it to mock speed. I hit 1.0, that is the sound of, uh, that's the speed of sound, so it would break the sound barrier. I cannot do that in this aircraft. Uh, the heading feature, uh, is being overtaken by autopilot, but normally that would change the turn you're going. It's like a compass. Uh, the heading, vertical speed, I don't, that's not working correctly. This number right here, 38,000, is how high we are up in the air. So if I look down here on the panel, we are currently at 38,000 feet. That's our cruising level, along with we're going 240 knots. Uh, this one right here has got a whole bunch of dashes to the vertical speed. All that is is how pitched up, how fast the aircraft is gaining in uh, feet per second, mm -hmm. which is off right now because we're at it. We're at it. You can see we're at altitude cruise with navigation autopilot one. Level. So yes, those won't change. Automatically, I have to do that myself. Changing this will change the altitude and then changing this speed. 
Uh, now, if we really want to get uh, specific here, you can talk about all these buttons up here. Um, these anti-ice buttons would potentially de-ice the wings and stuff, but as you can see, that has not happened. They're not working right. Uh, even though this is a released version of the game, they have a few things to work out. Again, again. These are my light controls. Landing lights, runway lights, nose lights, navigation lights. Uh, these are some of these are important to have on at all times during the flight. I like the strobe light, the beacon light, and wing light. That's the wing. Ice. It's on currently. Those are the ones you have to legally under FAA regulations on at all times, so other aircraft can see you. Right. Uh, this right here turns on the light right there. So if I'm landed and I'm at the gate, I can turn it on. Uh, what else? That's all that. None of this works. That's for uh, controlling air conditioning stuff. This is all the electrical controls. Uh, if I turn all this off, the, essentially, I'd lose all engine power, and it makes this would be this wish. Yeah. Uh, these are the battery powers. None of this works up there. A lot of this is inoperable because it is just a generic aircraft. But a lot of this stuff is very important in your flight. That's that up there. Those are all fuses, along with that back there. What else, what else we got? Uh, before I go to that center. Nothing over here. This controls how bright these panels are. This is how... This is my engine. Uh, take this a second here. This is my uh, engine thrust levels. It shows me current oil pressure and thrust. 62% right now. It's all automated right now. I'm not doing anything. Right. Uh, this is my fuel. Normally, in the normal Airbus, you would use these buttons here to change it, but fortunately, it is inoperable. But I can see my fuel levels, so you can still see they're about the same. Uh, I forget what this is called. It's a computer system that controls where you go. It's, this is the main brain of the autopilot. Uh, don't know how to use it, so when I make a flight plan, I haven't imported it. Um, this is the radio controls, both sides. These are both the same for both the co-pilot and pilot. Uh, none of these work, I don't even know what they're for anyway. <clears throat> but these right here control the lighting on the, uh, called the glare shield. Up and down. This right here turns up the brightness of the, uh, dials. You can see one of them are turning up and down, really small. Now, this isn't multiplayer, is it, where you can actually talk to other people flying other airplanes and stuff? Uh, no. Not that I'm aware of. It is multiplayer, though. It is open-world multiplayer. Uh, they are working on that. I think I, I don't know if I mentioned that or not earlier. Um, that'd be a whole lot of fun. That's a Discord's for. That's why you play this on Discord. All right. Um, so, yeah, continuing on. These are the engine controls. I have to keep these on on, or if I turn this to off, I will lose that engine power. And trying to restart an engine in the air is a nightmare. Uh, that controls the ignition. So if I turn it to ignition start, that would change it to start the air. This is a spoiler. Also has a speed brake. It's what it, it's those uh, on the wings. It's the ones that go up, right. or flip up. So that would actually push the aircraft down, causing it to slow down faster. That will usually be down in this position right there, arming it. Although it does not work half the time. Uh, this is really important. This is the squawk code. This is how you identify. It's called the TCAS system. So if you have this on, they cannot identify you on the radar. And trust me, if you want to get shot down, that's how you do it right there. Can you get shot down in this game? No. But you will get really annoyed by air traffic control saying, please change your squawk code. Please change your squawk code. They'll never stop. So, uh, there is emergency ones you'd put in here in real life to tell everyone at the air traffic control center, hey, I'm having an emergency. It, leave me alone. I gotta do what I gotta do, type thing. I don't remember that code, but I, it doesn't work right at the uh, The flaps on the wings, it's the ones that go down. That slows the aircraft down and also allows it to lift up, too. That's why sometimes you'd have to use spring brake, but. Speed down low enough if you don't have this. Parking mm -hmm. brake obviously is for the ground. 
Uh, in real life, this would actually be if you lost hydraulic pressure and the gear couldn't go down by themselves with the hydraulic pressure being lost, you'd actually pull this down and it would go gravity would pull pull the gear down. No, I have not landed yet. But <laughs> warp drive, since you're here, can you please bring me a fork? I need to eat the meat out of this taco because the cheese He needs a fork, warp drive. What are you doing? You're not a good flight attendant. Yeah, the cheese was just kind of making... It was just overwhelming. There's five people watching. I know someone here is just laughing their head off. They're like, why can't this kid just eat his cheese and not press me? You guys don't want to have to see all night long. Here we are. We are in above Texas. I believe her. I, I, I hope that her descent's coming soon. We have been streaming for... One hour and 35 minutes. Yep. I think the flight was only supposed to be an hour and 40. I don't know. It wasn't that long, was it? Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. You still got a good while to go, but we are above land again in Texas. We are in contact with uh, Houston. Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> Unfortunately, our plane is still. Looks like it flew through a nice storm. Houston Center, American six -Niner, six -Flight and it has not melted off. Unfortunately. American six -Niner, six Houston Center, we don't have to do that. And, and boom, we're right back into the cockpit. <clears throat> Why does the cockpit show two people there, but you're the only one there when you go? Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, so if I click end and go back out. <laughs> There is two people, and their heads move. You can see them moving in there. But what? when I go into the cockpit, he's gone. He just gets up and left. Just gets up and leaves. Go. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. I'll go home for the day. Heck, if you hmm. wanted to, there is a jump jumper jumper seat. Oh wow, a jump seat in the back here, so you can have third person. We should be glad. Uh, you know a little bit about uh, air travel, uh, Rich. You ever seen the Boeing bit. 747? Mm -hmm. It's called the Queen, I believe, of the sky. I've heard of it. It is in this game. It is massive. Mm -hmm. um, let me see if I can pull a picture here. Boeing 747. So people know what I'm talking about. Most people. I usually I usually fly on the smaller Boeing, smaller to medium sized Boeings. Yeah, most people would. 40, 747s, yeah. Now bring this up here so we can see it. I don't think he cares about your fork. I, I guess he doesn't. Uh, but here is... I was talking about... This is a, a version of the Boeing 747. Go back here. It's known as the King of the Sky. Because of how large it is. There you go. That's a good picture right there. Nope, can't load that. That's 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 it right there. It's got four engines. It's really old. Oh wow. Uh, I think it's from 1969 was its first flight. Uh, they no longer make them, obviously. So, oh no, they're they still being produced. They don't, make, they don't make planes like they used to. No. Now they have the. Uh, if you want to go with another Airbus. They do have the Airbus A380, and this thing is a double-decker massive plane. Swahili on that, but here we go. There it is. It's four engines. It has two decks, is what's considered. The top part is level two. The bottom part is level one. It's a massive aircraft. Or you can get this. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Uh, for everyone that's looking in the uh, yeah. stream right now, that's something else. We're going to go switch back to game here. Interesting. Interesting stuff. Oh. All right. Well, we're still good to go. My fork still didn't make it, and my meat is cold. Cold and salt. That's what she said. Weeaboo doesn't care. Warp Drive TV doesn't care. 
This is warp drive. I don't think she. I didn't text her. By the time they get me a fork, they'll be done with dinner, and Warp Drive TV will be back down in the basement to talk to us. Yeah. So did you work today? No. I think you did. Do you only work during the week? Yeah, random. Oh, it's just, oh, so it's even better. It's just random. You don't know. Actually, that's how it is. It worked for me. I just kind of, I have a schedule, obviously, but. Oh, thanks <laughs> for the fork. <laughs> You finally brought it in. We got the fort, guys. About time, Warp Drive TV. You are. I'm lagging. Wow. Better restart. I'm not dropping FPS again, I don't think. No, I'm still good. No, 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 no. It just, for some reason, it lags every once in a while. We were having that issue earlier, though. Which doesn't thought. make sense because I'm watching live. So. And watch me eat my meat. Right. I ain't clipping that. <laughs> I don't know how well that would go. Hmm. It's still good, though. Now, where is that from? Um, uh, I forgot what it's called. I almost said Papa John's, which is a pizza place. Yeah, but... it's not no Papa John's, unless you meant Papa Bears. I don't think there's a Papa Bears out there. Uh uh. I don't know where they got it from. I have to find that out. I am going to have to leave here in a second so I can throw this away, because I, I don't have nowhere to put it in my room. Actually, I don't want to leave, because what happened last time, I walked away from the uh, computer for just one second, and my descent started to come through. They're telling me yeah. to go down, and I'm like, uh, I'm in the bathroom. That was good enough. It tasted good. It had cheese on it. I ate, I ate three quarters of the one with cheese. Didn't die. But then, as soon as I got to the really cheesy part, realized I should not have done that. Second here, it's right back here. No, I have water up here though. So I do have my water. So I guess I can drink this. Oh. This flight is taking a lot longer than that was going to. Nothing better than lukewarm water. That's been sitting here all you, my life. You technically shouldn't drink ice cold water anyway. Uh, I'm not a big fan of that. I'll just like, I'll have, we have these water bottles right here. Um, and we'll just put them in the fridge and then pull them out and drink it. That would be awesome if Warp Drive TV would like buy you a little mini fridge for your room though. Oh. Then you can have cold water. I do. Wait one second here. Rich, I don't, Rich, I don't know if you can see this or not, but this is a mini fridge that I have in my room. <laughs> it doesn't doesn't have anything in it. That's cool. Did you get that from Walmart? Uh, Amazon. <laughs> nice. The uh, the place you work for. Is that run on battery? No. Um, uh, I haven't had it plugged in for a while, but it actually plugs into the wall, and it even has a car plugged in. So if you want to plug it in. Car. I don't know why you would do that. If you have a car as old as mine, you want to kill the battery, I guess it's one way to do it, but if you wanted to, you could. I got Discord notifications. Like. I, uh. Have you been on Grand Theft Auto lately? Who, who asked that? Six, nine, or six. Oh, have I been? You know yes. what? Uh, American, six, nine, or six, I have not because 
what ended up happening was a new update came out and if you've watched me mm -hmm. I have usually only ever played it to I don't know what you want to call it here to do that like law role enforcement play. role play and yeah, unfortunately yeah. with the new update that came out uh it broke that mod and now after i fixed certain parts of it to be able to do that continue to play it, it just uh, the game doesn't load it loads in and as soon as you get ready to play it just breaks itself that's weird so i had to reinstall the whole game reinstall those mods and i'll tell you what when you have a game that size it's about 80 gigabytes you have to find the time to do all that because mm -hmm. installing mods for that game is not something you could you could do just you do yourself if you know what i mean like right if i gave you the task of doing it you'd have no idea what you were doing um it's not it's not simple at all i wish it was because more people would do it and there'd be a lot more content out there but it's just how it is and not to mention how unstable it is. I mean, that's for any game. You mod it, you put modifications in, you're gonna get what you, <laughs> you're gonna get what you're gonna get. You're gonna deal mm -hmm. with it. Right. Unfortunately, with that game, it's just, it's a lot better than what Grand Theft Auto 4 was when you modded it. But, uh, no, I have not played it. Uh, the only game I've been playing, you know, before uh, this game came out about last week, I didn't really play anything I'm thinking besides hopping on the stream a few times to watch Warp Drive play uh, Marbles see I wouldn't mind playing Grand Theft Auto if I could get like some sort of like superhero mod or they do have or, that. like horror movie mod yeah that's what I hear oh there's a whole bunch of mods for that game it's a I just do the law enforcement stuff but I just got uh, not too long ago uh, I did not play it on stream I should have but they have Back to the Future 5. It's a, it's a mod for the game. <laughs> it puts the DeLorean in the game with its real life, well, not its real life sounds, but it's, it's movie like sounds. And you can travel, quote unquote, into time. How does that work? Uh, you set the time circuits? No, I mean, do you actually go in time? You can't go into time. No, it changes the time of day to that time of day, and then it changes the weather as if you went into the future. But if you went, oh, if you okay. set it, if you set it back to the date of zero 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 one, it's still going to be La, oh, it's what the city's name is Los Santos. You're still going to be in LA. It's still going to look the same. I was going to say because if someone did that, that would take a lot of work. It did, like... and back during Grand Theft Auto Four, that they did do that. Uh, you could go back to the Old West. You could go to uh, the Futuristic, uh, I believe it was Futuristic Liberty City, or you could just go back to Grass, is what it was. Mm -hmm. um, but knowing how hard it is to put map add-ons into Grand Theft Auto nowadays, and it's, it does not surprise me that people don't do it anymore. Duck's still in here. I, I didn't... Duck it! I think he's still in here. He says he was. Okay. And maintain one zero thousand feet south. Oh, I'm stretching the back here. Yeah. Are you just enjoying it? Are you like just kind of lurking in the background, or what's up? I've not even talking a whole lot. It's not marbles. That's happening tomorrow, though. You're a good look. He's a good lurker. That word did not come out the way I wanted it to. Yeah. Just kind of trying to help out Warp Drive get some more streaming hours. Of course, he needs a little bit more than that to be able to do anything. That, uh, what is it called? He's trying to work up to. Partner status. He's going to have a certain kind of viewers, but. We're still flying straight at 38,000 feet in the air. So. I, I did tell him that we needed to do, uh, switch out for marbles one night. That would be interesting. Going to join the stream says, we're going to play marbles tonight. And then you find out, uh, that's not warp drive. Oh, man, yeah. it's really hard turn there. 
That's not warp drive. That's an like eight year old kid. Which is very off. You're actually nine years off if you think that. Right, that seventeen. So that. Yep, that's nine. I did not just do that math in my head. Hey, guess who's back? Warp drive. My stomach's already hey, not know, feeling good. It's about time that you got him <coughs> his fork. Oh know. my goodness. <laughs> did you like the message I sent you? Because Rich took the decency to clip it out into a Twitch clip and named it Gotta Get That Meat. <laughs> I didn't see it yet, but I'll, uh, I'll watch it. <laughs> ah, Hold seven on. brands here. Hey, hey what's welcome. Up, welcome, brother. From another mother. Is that, can I say that? Is that technically true? That's technically true. <laughs> you gotta watch that clip, Warp Drive. I would call you dad, but I, I feel like that'd be weird. Hey, dad. Hey, dad. Watch it, dad. <laughs> oh, man. Seven Brand comes in here and says hello and gives us Wait a, a minute. Look at him. Wait a minute. I just watched the clip. You told Siri, can you bring a fork up so I can eat the meat out? Yep, that's what I told Siri to do. Uh, <laughs> Seven Brand, if you have a minute, you should watch that Twitch clip. <laughs> oh gosh. I'm, I, I want to upload that clip onto my YouTube page. Oh yeah, speaking of that, I did tell Comixis afterwards, as the stream is over, uh, we needed to uh, put this over onto my YouTube channel. We'll have to figure out how to do that. I forgot how to do it. <clears throat> we're going. We're, we're almost at two hours. Are you at uh, Dallas Fort Worth yet? No, we're still at 38,000 feet in the air. <laughs> we're in Texas, yeah. though. What would happen if you just thrusted it to Mach 1? I'd break the sound bar sound barrier. And, like, Can blow this aircraft up. do that? Mm, I think the uh, uh, wings would fall off because it'd be over speed. See, the aircraft has a maximum speed it can go. And if you go over that, because the the uh, vibrations could, become so could violent. Could you see the wings wobbling in the game? Hmm. <laughs> That's a good question because in theory you should be able to, but it, it's, a, it's a simulation game where it was more for VFR flight, visual flight. So I don't know. Well, let's try that. I have a jet. So maybe after we land, I'll get in that jet and see how fast we can go. Why are you posting his... Uh, uh, excuse me. Yes, because he, I... he's, he's actually on his warp drive because he's... Uh, he's not on the website, though. Yeah, no, it doesn't matter, though. What's going on? American 6 6 traffic in sight. traffic in sight? Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm viewing as a different viewer. Oh, I see. Um, get with the program, Richard. Understand how things work. Yes, follow us on our social media, our Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, at Warped TV, and our YouTube channel, along with our Discord. Feel free to join our Discord because we're having too much fun on there sometimes. That's right. See, Rich, just so you understand, <coughs> if I was watching the stream as Warp Drive TV, and he's broadcasting as Warp Drive TV, not only does it not count as a viewer, <clears throat> it doesn't count as a chatter. So I log in with my other account, and uh, uh, I'm, a, I'm a viewer and a chatter. So, Seven Brand, you're still here. How are you doing today? Midnight. Oh. Yes, we love hearing your singing. Uh, another recall alert. Your salmonella again. He, oh, Chipotle. sir, Brian. Uh, no, it was... Uh, Salmonella Fitzgerald? Tainted peaches. <gasps> and, uh... Sir, Brian, so that clip was hilarious. Thanks. Uh, oh, speaking of peaches, I have... That was a that's what she said moment. And he did not take the time to say it. All he did was hold in his laugh with a nice fart. Tonight I shall be drinking some peach schnapps and cranberry juice. They get salmonella. I feel like that's a weird thing that, well, I guess it'd work in that type of plan. It's good. The things we find to have topics about. Yeah. 
Warp drive, how long were you at work yesterday for? After the stream. Uh, yeah, after the stream. Like five minutes? Ah. I left not too long after that. Go pick up Weeoby Bree. Bree. Is she back in here yet? Weeoby Bree! Tell She's in the living room. She's eating in the living room. <clears throat> How does this warp drive TV join? Just keep putting in exclamation point play. <laughs> Yeah, um, right. Where did the Mexican food come from? Oh, yeah. Talaki Packy? <gasps> I love Talaki Packy! Here's one in North. That cheese made me sick. I'm already feeling it. But. I did get through. Warp Drive, just by the way. I did get through <laughs> about three quarters of the first taco before I realized the cheese became bitter to me. <laughs> bitter. So that's when I asked. If I get a Ford, <laughs> which took probably about 20 minutes, 20 to 25 minutes, to finally get my fork to eat my meat. It did. We watched it. Yep. Nice. It was cold, just like you would find in any in-flight service, especially with American. Since we didn't have snacks, we had uh, you had to pay for uh, pretzels today. I think that's what we said. I mean, a pop or soda or soda pop, depending on where you live. Soda pop, Johnson. Soda pop, Johnson. I have glacier mist water, lukewarm. Why? Why I'm not feeling good. I'm a. Uh, I'm wondering. So my so my new emotes were approved, but I wonder why they're not showing up yet. Interesting. Do you have to do something on the channel? Mm -mm. To add them in. I already, I already did that. That's why there's a, there's like a approval delay, but they're approved now. Oh, wait. No, they're not. Ha. I shall return. Uno momento, por favor. One, two, five, five decimal, one American six, nine, or six. Uno FD momento, por favor. <laughs> Interesting. American six, yep. Nine, so Bran is, I think he's still here. He's been answering back. I don't know where he's been all day. <clears throat> he did join though. Actually, while I'm at it, check with it. Outside view of the aircraft, we are still all <laughs> iced up. That'll go away when we start to do our descent. I'm really close to the microphone. Sorry about that. That'll go away during our descent. I cannot wait to get to because this flight. Oh my goodness. It is really cool to have real life flight times. Yep. But. But. Yes. It's unbelievable. And so Bran says this game looks sweet. Yeah. If I had anything to say, it was worth the. Uh, I think I paid. 60. 65 dollars for it. Um, Oof. It was a good amount, but considering what you get from it, if you don't have a good graphics card, I mean, forget about it, because you can see what my graphics card right now, game look might look good, because regardless, it will, but I'm only running that. Oh, I'm at 40 right now. That's a big surprise, but nothing below me is really loading in. Uh, but it streams everything in. All the clouds, uh, all the terrain data, cities. As you can see right now, though, Texas is clear skies completely. That was so loud. <laughs> it scared the crap out of me. That was, that was worse than the screen that you played earlier. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so every, everything streamed in. I thought it was worth it. Uh, seems to be a lot of people are liking it, but it's had it's it's fifty fifty on reviews right now. People were expecting things, they didn't get it, and then a lot of people can't play the game uh, where they want to be with it because it, it uses so much resources of the, the the GPU, the graphics processing unit, or the graphics card, whatever you want to call it in this case. 
Um, I mean, if I pull it up right now, I can tell you it's using about 70% of my GPU is currently running on this game. Uh, when we get close to the ground, it will be hitting 100% like crazy. FPS will drop. Um, but if you have a good, a good, a, a mediocre CPU, you're good. If you have a good amount of RAM, you're good. It uses, it, it does use a good amount of RAM, too. Uh, but the GPU, man, I would have to say the best graphics card for it probably the uh, the new three three hundred series I think is coming out for the Nvidia cards. That'd be a good one to get, or the twenty eighty. Or the best one you're gonna get, especially the 2080 Ti. It's a smaller version of it. But if you don't have something that good, I mean, trust me, won't be worth it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it takes a good PC to run one like this. That's for sure. I, I think Warbird's computer could run it, but well, how many? How much RAM do you have? Sixteen. Sixteen. You have a quad core CPU. I got six cores. Okay. And your graphics card is what a 1080. Yep. Okay. So you would be better off. I don't know how much video RAM it has, but um, I mean, you'd be better off with it. It's faster. So would mine be able to run it? What do you have? A brick. <laughs> In a shoebox. Well, uh, what really matters, uh, Rich, is what uh, G Note graphics card do you have? <laughs> yes. Fair. What is it? A 2080 Super. Yes. <laughs> but it, you it's, can... <laughs> oh my gosh. I was not. <laughs> I don't know if that was like. But he's still running it on his Windows 95 uh, PC. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> Finding the driver support for that in general. Yeah, it takes 45 floppy disks. Yeah. <laughs> the game itself is uh, 90 gigabytes standalone. <laughs> so yeah, I think you could run it. Uh, if right. you have at least above 16 gigabytes of RAM and above a Dual core CPU. I saying. only have 32 gigabytes of RAM, and that's, I have a six core processor. That's yeah. You'd be able to play this game without any problems. Uh, I don't know about ultra settings. Keep it on high end if you want to get between 30 and 60 FPS. Uh, but if I'm not streaming and I turn off all all other aircraft in the game, I'll get 40 on high end. But when you add in getting really close to the ground. And yeah, dealing with uh, other air traffic, yeah. It's a game where you have to play. Yeah, I hear you. Not on my son's stream. <laughs> you demon. Is that why you left? <clears throat> I did. I had to go mix me some peach schnapps and cranberry juice. Don't oh. corrupt my child. I I will break you in half. <laughs> We are at two hours and uh, two minutes into the flight. We're actually... Oh, man. Um, this flight was supposed to be an hour and 40. I think we're over that point. If not... Actually, I think we're at it now, aren't we? Because I think it took about 20 minutes to get off the ground. Well, actually, I think we're past that mark now. We're still nowhere near it. Well, I mean, we're still we're getting really close. We just haven't been allowed to descend yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and ask for a decrease by uh, six thousand. Six thousand. FTA, we're center American six nine or six. Brand, oh, don't you corrupt your brother either. <laughs> it is a very good. I first had it in Las Vegas. Um, I was going to get stuff to make Midori Sours, but Giant Eagle didn't have any Midori. Giant Eagle? So that's where he's going. I buy all my liquor from Giant Eagle. Enough. At least it's not from some uh, gas station. 
So, hey, Rich, you know, uh, we, here's what we got a plan. We got a plan for uh, you to come down and uh, hang out one day. Yes. Just uh, just like on a weekend, come down and, and uh, you know, hang. Even, heck, even if you want to hang and spend the night and go home the next day. <laughs> we definitely cool. could do something like that, yeah. Yeah, just come and <clears throat> we can do a uh, we can do a stream or something. Oh goodness! Hang out. <laughs> Heck, we could probably all go to the drive-in, watch a movie. Ooh. Oh, here's the Spanish version of that song I did want. I, I'm very upset with Cinemark theaters right now, by the way. Because they're not opening. No, they they are opening, but they're not showing the new Bill and Ted movie. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, they they have a policy that states that any movie that does like a video on demand release, mind you, COVID, COVID's been going on, so all these movies are going to video on demand, so people can actually watch them. Their policy is that they will not show them in theaters. Wow. Yeah, which is stupid. Yeah. You know, now listen, that's a fine policy to have <clears throat> with no pandemic in a normal world, right? Right. Okay. Right. <clears throat> Like we, it's kind of like you know how like uh, PlayStation and Xbox want to have some things exclusive, right? Mm -hmm. Some games they want to have exclusive. So I understand like, hey, if you're in the movie industry, you if you're a, if if you're in the theater industry, you need to have some exclusivity, right? In order to make sure that people can support your business model. Because <clears throat> I'll be honest with you, if a new movie came out and I could watch it from home or go to the theater, for most movies, I'm gonna stay home now. If like Avengers Endgame, a, a new Star Wars movie, I'm going to a theater because I want that big screen sound immersive. Right. But for for like Bill and Ted, I would want to watch it at home. Yeah. So I get why they want to do it, but they I think they got to be a little understanding that we're in unprecedented times where the movie industry itself is saying, listen, uh, <clears throat> if we can't really make and release movies if the only option we have is partially filled theaters. We ain't gonna we ain't gonna make back our investment. So, you know, and if we don't make movies, you're gonna go out of business. So at least if we do a dual release, then you can make some money. We can make some money. Movie theaters need to quit being jerks. FTA worth center American six nine or six requesting vector to next waypoint. And I'm not a sponsor. I was watching Family Guy last night. He was trying to say Peter was trying to get Meg to say the name of the of the the area of the plane that Xavier's in right now. Hmm. Peter Griffin. <laughs> well, we are actually about uh, 120 nautical miles out. I don't know what the miles would be, but. We're not too far away. We haven't even started our descent yet. So, uh, if you think... Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. How do, how do I do this? I can't remember how to do it now. Gosh, and I'm on mute. <laughs> I said it looks like you're descending right now. Those numbers are going down. Oh, snap a -rooney. You crashing? That? No, blood. We, uh, I just I asked air traffic control if I could descend down to thirty thousand to see if I can get this ice off, but that didn't do anything. As you can go see, into a nosedive. I bet <laughs> it'll come off that way. <laughs> it's yeah. really cold up here. I'll tell you that. If we didn't have heat, all my passengers would be small ice cubes. I'm not a no, scientist. No, I think they'd be but... large ice cubes. So, Sam Brian said he hadn't been to the theater since the beginning of COVID. And I'll be honest, I haven't been to Walmart. Uh, warp Drive, we boo Brehow, but I have stayed away from there. Although, I work in retail anyway, but I have to try to stay away from there. Of course, our Walmart's remodeling right now, so... Oh, I think Alliance is, too. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. It, it must be a good time to do it. Get more people to come in. I know they changed the colors in our Walmart to like a, a, a dark gray, a light gray, a black, or white. So, so warp drive. 
Walmart. Yeah. Walmart has this great idea. Okay, think, think Alliance Walmart when you work there. Okay, just, just try and have the diagram in your mind. All okay. right. Now, when you last worked there, toys is along the back wall. All right. Right. Okay. Now imagine this. Walmart now has this great idea where toys should go on the side wall right after, right, right before a lawn and garden. What does that sound like? It's where it used to be. That's where it used to be. They're yeah. putting a whole remodel to move toys where it used to be. <laughs> because it was toys, electronics, and then yeah. sporting goods was behind electronics. Yeah, I agree. Seven brand. I got to wear it at work. Those masks kind of get annoying. But we have to wear them, I guess, because that's what the government tells us to do. Just wear a lacy mask. <laughs> you can breathe through. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, well, like, legit, like, you don't have to wear a 19 layer mask out in public. Yeah. But you don't. You, you just have to wear some sort of face covering. So there's a poll <clears throat> up on. North and uh, south. No, there's a poll. Uh, P O L L. And uh, here's what the poll is. is Could Xavier fly a real plane? Uh, option one is, yeah, if the tower helps. Option two is, for sure he could fly one. And option three is, he could fly it into the ground. As an anti exclamation point. And exclamation then, vote, yeah. <laughs> it's like uh, exclamation point vote. Ski mask. <laughs> You could, like, like a yeah. Jason Voorhees ski mask. I have one. I have one right on the back of my door here to my computer room. And then I have a Michael Myers mask downstairs. I have Freddy Krueger gloves downstairs. Real metal Freddy Krueger gloves. But what? I'm a huge horror movie fan. I don't think I'd, I think I'd be able to do it uh, if an emergency situation happened where I was <clears> on the flight. And they didn't have a, a, a pilot. Oh, I, you're a breaker. You could you could raise your hand and be like, "Excuse me, I've played Microsoft Flight Simulator. Can I help?" Yeah. <laughs> Specifically, I've flown this aircraft. <laughs> it would be a horrible decision. I mean, if it was really needed. Oh, we're starting our descent. By the way. We've been yes. clear down to 18,000. Ladies and gentlemen, hold on to your hats. Here comes the excitement. Ladies and gentlemen, the captain has turned on the seatbelt sign. We are beginning our Can descent down in the fort. Fort Worth, Bing. Texas. Bing. 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 That was really good. Oh, man. <laughs> What are you flying right now? Not the plane, but the, what airline? Uh, American. All right. Just stay away from United. <clears throat> United. <laughs> the frosted American. Oh, that's yes. not what I meant. Frosted American. <laughs> so with all that ice, will your your thingies come down? Your dangles, uh, your dongles, <laughs> whatever it is. <laughs> we should... Will your dangles fall? I think we're gonna be good. We Will your blue marbles <laughs> drop? <clears throat> no. <laughs> uh, I'm looking at the uh, the map, uh, the screen here. Tulu, Tulai, Tuloi, Tuloi, Tuloi is when we begin our right turn, and we'll be right to the ground. I'd like to drag you off the plane. Yeah, well. American's been around forever. It was in the, uh, I swear, was it in the Home Alone movie? Was that the plane they got on? I don't know if that was American or not, but United, you, the only issues I've ever had flying was through United. I've never had issues through um, Southwest. That's why Southwest is my favorite. And plus, the last time I went to Las Vegas, no, was it the last time? It was the time before the last time. They gave me a bunch of alcohol vouchers. Like, a bunch. I was able to have six alcoholic <laughs> drinks going to Vegas and six coming back from Vegas. <laughs> of course. <laughs> He's Richard. Where yeah, did yeah. we fly 
through our first flight. Was it? Which which one? It was from Akron Camp. We never did it oh. again. But what, what we went to Cancun? Yes, the first time. Uh, we flew from Akron Camp to Charlotte. But what was our yeah. airliner? Um, I thought United. it was United. Yeah, and then, the, and then when we went back to Cancun, we went to Frontier, and then when we flew to uh, Dominican, I think we went to Frontier as well. Wow. Well, or Allegiant. Allegiant. Yeah, it was some weird... How was Allegiant? D- basic. You that know, I'm, right. I, you know one, of, one of my jobs that I really want to do is be a flight attendant. Like, no joke. I've always wanted to be a flight attendant. So here's a funny story. Um, a lot of preparation for that safety. Brandon, Seven Brand, his mom, when uh, uh, she was uh, uh, just recently graduated senior from high school, she wanted to be a flight attendant. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Huh. Didn't know that. Do you know what my mom said when I told her I wanted to be a flight attendant? She said probably some discriminatory things got racist on you <laughs> said I'm going to bingo her exact words were I've never seen a fat flight attendant <laughs> oh. those were her exact words to me <laughs> mom. your mom she kills me man yep those were her exact <laughs> all right words. Um, we are 78 miles southeast of the airport. We've just been clear to descend and maintain 6,000 feet. 5,000 feet, correction. I'm so excited. This is getting really exciting. Descend and maintain 5,000 feet. Expect ILS runway tree one. Let's get some hype in chats, people. Lay on the plane. Lay on the plane. Unless you're, uh, the mix this. It isn't here now. But crash the plane. Crash. crash the plane. <laughs> yeah. A song that just popped up next called Jellyfish Party. Interesting. That's like a, like a video game. <clears throat> we are two hours and 60 minutes in. The flight, we've only been flying for an hour and 54 minutes in flight time, so... Yeah, you are right. We've been flying for a while. Um, mm-hmm. You can see right here, that time right there, the 154, is how long we've been in flight. Ah. Uh, that's is the it, current local time. What's what's? Well, actually, it's not. That's incorrect. But is, is that? Yeah, I was going to say it's really bright out. Is that is that 154 flight time? Is that from the time you took off? You took off. Okay. It's not once you achieved uh, cruising altitude. No. You need, to, you need to, like, start paying attention a little bit more warp drive. Jeez. Yeah, I even went through every single button in this aircraft. <laughs> for, for wait, wait, show, show, him, show him your pilot, your co-pilot that isn't oh, there. yeah. I was eating carne asada. Sorry. So he point, Rich pointed this out. If you look into the, uh, the pilot seats here, you have me and the co-pilot, right? Yeah. Yeah, and they yeah. model. They're actually modeled. You can see them both moving their head. Wearing yeah. sunglasses, looking at each other, looking down at things. But when I go back into uh, here, he just got up and left. He's actually the one holding the camera inside the cockpit. <laughs> oh, that's right. Is that where am I at? American he's he's sitting on your head. That's You're right. not even there. Noah, who's flying this plane? <laughs> Roger, Roger. We are. We have gone back an hour in time from when we took off. So it's 719 local time right now. It is 619 and Texas. You know what this makes me want to watch? Airplane? I'm, no, actually, no. No, no. I might actually try to do a Facebook um, watch party with it later if I can find it. But it's a Stephen King movie called The Langoliers. Oh. If no one's ever seen it, I do highly recommend it. Right, and our speed's going to be coming down now. Two twenty is the new airspeed. All right. Ah, too bright. 
bright. It's too bright. It's too bright. Yeah, I'm not really good at the landing part. But I am Just put it on autopilot for the landing. I can't do that. I know. <laughs> Uh, if I turn on the local, uh, the local button and then the approach hold button, it will actually capture me, that's what it's called, on the glide slope and bring me down the ground. Uh, I'm still learning how to do that though. No promises. So I think I turn on loc mode, I have to turn off autopilot. Let's see. Oops. Yeah, okay, I do. Everyone in stream just keeps hearing those beeping sounds happening. They're like, wait, what's happening? I just dis disengaged autopilot, it's alright. It makes that sound. Oh, and if you listen close enough, when we get close to the ground, you hear a guy, a really deep voice guy, go, 500. We What's get that? really. It's the ground, it's called the GPSW. Uh, yeah, GPWS, I got it backwards. It's the ground position warning system. It tells you how close you are to the ground. So when I get about 100 feet, before getting touchdown, it'll go 100. And then it'll go 50, 40, 30. It says 20, and then right after it says 20, it says retard, retard. It just calls you a retard. Ouch. Uh, it's this actually- This is a family stream. Yeah, anyway, what's wrong, what's wrong with you, kid? What retard is meaning is that it's telling you to pull back on the thruster. It, it's telling you to turn off the engines. Descent, well, not turn them off, but put them back to idle. Uh, so, but if you listen closely enough on the stream, you'll hear it. If I do it too fast, you hear it say retard, and then it'll do five. It just tells me how close I am to touching. What the we? 33 more followers and three more subs. And yes, we do. Yep, seven days to go. So, you know what that means. That means we need some people that are here in uh, the stream. If you're watching and you haven't followed us, help us hit our follower goal by clicking the follow button. And uh, that's more, I mean, the sub goal is nice, but we, you know, we really, really care about the follower goal. If you, if you feel so led to sub, that's awesome. We appreciate the support, but by all means, we really, really appreciate the follows and check us out on discord. Our social media pages on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And check us out on YouTube. We do have a YouTube page. And Richard Jeremy Pro says your face sucks. Yep. And our ice is finally melting. The hockey ring. Wait, is what? coming off. Yep. Isis. Isis. <laughs> he said Isis. He said Isis. <laughs> our ice. Ice. This is American Airlines. Yeah. Anyway. The ice is finally melting off the aircraft. Not he ISIS. said it again. ISIS? He said it again. I can't. Well, then I'm just saying ISIS is melting off the aircraft. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how they would feel about hearing that. America. All right, bringing the speed down to one. In. I heard it back. This Actually, is when we need Randy on the stream. <laughs> 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 Uh, better than that, we are at two hours and twenty-two minutes into the stream. That's unbelievable. Yeah, Forty-seven seconds. Forty. Fifty. One. Two. Do you want me to count? I can count. Fifty-four. <laughs> Fifty-five. Fifty-six. Fifty-seven. Fifty-eight. Fifty-nine. Double zero. <laughs> Listen, you you better than double zero. You're gonna come away a rich man if it hits. That's fine. What difference does that make? I'm I'm introducing your children to gambling. <laughs> <laughs> First drinking, now gambling. Oh, yeah. What the heck? What is this music? <clears throat> I alt out on the game. Wait one second here. Also, uh, going back into shameless plugging. If uh, if you are on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, feel free to share our posts. Uh, invite people to like the pages. The more you help us spread the word, the more followers we get. Especially when we go to play like marbles and stuff like that, we'll get more people on the track. I know quite a few of you like to join us when we play marbles on stream. And uh, turn on the bedroom lights. There we go. Marbles on stream. Cream. Cream. 
<laughs> that sounds like a song. Um, but for our viewers currently, we will be playing a disco ball Marbles tomorrow. <laughs> Thanks, Google. Uh, Love you. Did you guys hear it too? Untis, untis, untis. Awesome. All right. Well, hey, uh, Rich. Yes. We are at 8,000 feet. We've just broken the cloud layer. See right now. Why'd you break it? The marshmallows. You turn off the anti ice the, machine. The extra fluffy <clears throat> marshmallows. Um, Stay Mar puff marshmallow man uh, marshmallows. They're mallows. Yeah. Uh, oh, look, I don't like mallows. Ice is finally off the aircraft. Did you throw him out? Uh, Warp Drive 2 is going to get banned because they said the word <laughs> ISIS. <laughs> yeah, probably. I'll get, it, right. I'll get it. Why is there random muted stuff on your VODs? I don't know. I was saying ice is, and then they thought it was ISIS. <laughs> I'll get an email. American Dear Warp Drive TV, we value you as a streamer and content creator on Twitch. We regretfully inform you that your channel has been permanently banned. We wish you the best in your future endeavors. Yeah, good luck on YouTube. <laughs> or Facebook, where you have absolutely no chance at gaining followers and getting people to view you. And then we take like a, a six month hiatus, or, or a three month hiatus, and then come back on YouTube and With get 500,000 viewers. <laughs> no, we would just, we would come back, we, we would be like, uh, 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 DDR, we'll call them DDR. Uh, we would get like ten times the viewers, so we take six months off of Twitch and we come back. We'd have like fifty. All right. All of Twitch. Look at all this. Twitch would be walking. Would be talking about you. Like, where is Warp Drive TV? What happened with Warp Drive TV? Why has no one heard from Warp Drive TV? <laughs> yeah. About four or five Beginning our turn. Me. There's the airport. Really on the right. Wow, this is unbelievable. And on your left, you will see Texas. This bird. is literally te <laughs> a bird. A bird. Uh, <laughs> probably not a good thing to see when I'm flying in an aircraft. I don't have a bird strike here. All the engines just revved up there. Get ready to. We're almost to Tulu. Toiloi. 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 And once we get to Toiloi, Toiloi, you'll make begin a right turn, which is fly straight in. And we'll be allowed to uh, descend as much as we need to. And right now, I'll I'll tip it set correctly. So. When you descend, turn it up to uh, one Mach one. Mach one. We're Mach actually going one. point three two Mach. Mach one, suckers. <sighs> right. This is looking good. Ladies and gentlemen, if you look up, you will see oxygen dropping down from the roof. I don't like you. Ah! Did Rich hear that too? No. <laughs> I see it. <laughs> you acted like it and you heard it. It didn't scare that much that time because it popped up on my screen way before it happened, so I was like, oh, okay. Now, the first time you did it, I was so focused into fixing the autopilot, <laughs> it came out. I think uh, the toilet was necessary. After eating that cheese and the meat off my taco, fork. <laughs> yeah, got me a fork so I could eat this meat. <laughs> eat the meat out of this taco. What was the actual you're, you're message welcome. I sent? <laughs> Hold on, I'm looking on my phone right now. Can you bring me a fork so I can eat the meat out? <laughs> that's what she said. That's what she said! Okay, girl, that's what she said. Yes. Did you make your turn yet? Yep, oh, there it goes. That was some saddest turn. <laughs> what was that? It just like urge. I don't know. We'll be in contact with uh, whoever you want to call them soon because we're getting really close. There's the engines again. Has ATC contacted you yet? 
Uh, I'm on uh, air traffic control of the regional approach, so I'm on approach, but I haven't been cleared yet. Because I, I have to continue through to Loy. You said you can't see crashes when they happen and stuff like that, it just goes to a black screen? Oh crap, we're getting really close. Yeah, it, it, it just goes to black screen. It would it normally, show a crash. Uh, but I have it turned off for that reason. It's really annoying. That's, that sucks, because... He, he, it would be like Mischief Maker for the airplane. Oh, yeah, that would you, be awesome. But remember, this is oh, a Microsoft. Oh, there it is out there. And you, you know, the last thing they'd want is streaming and YouTube videos of people crashing passenger planes into buildings <laughs> in the ground. Because that's what some people would do. They'd be like, I've watch seen me people do it. Plane. Did you see DDR playing this game, Rich? Did All I right. see him? First yeah. thing of flaps. I'm taking Let me guess. Was he bored as heck? Yeah, he was playing it and talking about, like, oh, I don't need to do any training. <laughs> he couldn't fly it. He was crashing it. <laughs> not... How do you make this thing turn? Like, How do you move the camera around? He was freaking out. M9L was playing it, and he was flying his planes upside down. Right. I don't know if you can see that out there, but that is in the International Airport where my cursor is currently. That is the runway we're going to be landing on. Yes. Or I'm really close. Ladies and gentlemen, we finally made it. Woo! I hope. We well, are slowing our speed down. We have the first notch flaps out and low FPS. 20. Awesome. 20 frames per second. I go in here, showcase, and we go up. Ah, oh, it looks beautiful. No ice. No ISIS. No ice is on the plane. Look at that view. This is Dallas. Man, that is so cool. Wait, wait, go back to that last one. Which one? This one? The last one. Yep. Last view. There's something on the wing. Something. This thing. <laughs> it's a gremlin. <laughs> you might be too young for that. He definitely is too young for that. Was that even in color? No, it was, it was black, black and, and white. white. Right? Yeah. Right. I believe most of, if not all, of Twilight Zone was black and white back in the day. Yeah, I believe you're right. I believe I'm right too. All right, 170 speed. We get the afterburners. <laughs> <laughs> Pull a Maverick. I'm gonna hit the brakes. You're gonna fly right by me. Use the liquid Schwartz. <laughs> All right, DFW. Only 10 nautical uh, miles out. We're on approach. And the gear is coming down. Here it goes. Watch that. Ah. Gear is down. That is the final. Look at the vapor trail coming out the back. That looks cool. It does. The really good graphics. I gotta, I gotta say, they really did a number on this. Absolutely. Except right, for the whole runway. no passengers or co pilots. Yeah. Were, were you watching six, earlier nine, when six. he went back into the. Uh, yeah, yeah, I saw okay. that. Right, yeah. that's, what happens, full. that's what happens when you have ISIS on the plane. <laughs> right, let's let him concentrate. He's landing. Okay. Here he comes, ladies and gentlemen. American 2 Tower. Clear dial Right the crashing bird. Oh, I'll lose all my FPS right before landing. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. All right, we just cleared the land. Uh, the wind is a little bit. Cleared to land runway tree one right, American six nine or six. All right, if you listen closely on the stream, you will hear the call outs. I hope the music might be a little too loud. We're going to pause the music for now. One thousand. One thousand. That was the uh, call sign for that.
right approach hold on he flaps all the way down press arm emergency brakes on here we go Five hundred. Four hundred. Four hundred. Okay, you have the little cars driving around. <laughs> Three hundred. Three hundred continuing. <laughs> They've landed. Welcome to Dallas Fort Worth. Turn down for what? Right, now pull back on the brake as hard as you can. Turn down for what? American 6 turn next ten taxiway. Next taxiway, we've been approved. Taxiway. Off, off the runway. I just missed my exit, so. No, I should turn here. But with my FPS right now, turn. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have successfully landed after a two-hour and thirteen-minute flight. We successfully landed in Texas. It didn't seem like more than two hours and twenty minutes. It did. <laughs> Let's give him some hype. He made, he successfully made a real-time flight from Tampa, Florida, to Dallas, Fort Worth. Nobody died. Yeah, you're going to have the FBI knocking on your door. You're talking about faces on the plane. Yeah. Do you think this is funny, son? <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Yes. Best gaming. Woo! We're still not done yet because the hard the part is getting to the gate. Oh, Quick, turn it up to Mach 1. <laughs> yeah. There's actually a speed limit. No, oh, don't hit that. It'll stop the plane if it's like a pallet jack. <laughs> there was a piece of wood. All, all those funny Texas guys. <clears throat> So, if you are just now joining us, uh, this is Warp Drive TV. We're we're uh, trying out some Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 um, on cam. You'll see my son, uh, the best gaming. He's uh, leading the stream today, flying the airplane. This is his uh, new game that just came out this past week on Tuesday, I believe. Uh, he just uh, yeah, give away to the camera. He uh, he just successfully made a flight from Tampa, Florida, to Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas. And of course, uh, everything is real time. So uh, the entire two hours and 37 minutes has been the time he kicked the stream off to actually make it uh, in the air and land. He's not even to the runway or to the airport yet. He's taxiing to it. This this aircraft on the left here just landed. You see nice. it right on the left? Yep. But they didn't land as good as you. Uh, I bet they did. That's a real life aircraft that just landed, so. Oh, I did not hold my position. I'm supposed to stop there. Oh. oh. Nice. <laughs> well, technically, there shouldn't be anyone coming behind him anyway. Technically. Roger, American 696. Six. Air traffic control's gonna be mad at you, buddy. Ducky Dick. gives oh. the. Wait, wait, no, it's not Ducky. What did I say I was gonna call him? Ducky! No, no, he gave us options. I'm oh. saying Ducky. What is that? It's a bus! What is he doing? No! There's wobble feet. Oh, no. <laughs> that bus can get murdered. Oh gosh, this is not going to end well. Really? This is, this is not going to end well, ladies and gentlemen. This is not going to end well. Oh, my brakes don't work. Oh, they just missed you. Oh wow. <laughs> oh, you don't we have just any drifted. We just drifted it. 
Oh man, that was bad. Oh right, this is the uh, one of the few terminals. <laughs> that's copyright. That's, that's what it's like. <laughs> that's what it's like coming into the terminal here. Do you know which one you have to pull into? Uh, they gave me one, but I can just pull into any of them. <laughs> As everyone runs from one terminal to the other. <laughs> yeah. He's going to park at Terminal C, but uh, the connecting flight's on A. Baggage no, claim. No, he's supposed to go to F, and everyone's on A. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Uh, no, i got to find which one's supposed to go to. How do you know? Like, I don't see any markings. I wish they had it like the old Microsoft flight that actually tell you where to go. But I have to go right here. It's this one, right on the right. I can tell because everything that I need to get out of here is here. It is parked there, yeah. yeah. So uh, anyway, if you're just joining us, you haven't been around, uh, uh, this is Warp Drive TV. And uh, you know what? Uh, we would like you to hit that follow button. That would make us feel really good and show us some support. And uh, not to mention that uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator is not our typical game. We do often play marbles on stream and we have got uh, some other games that we play as well oh look at that frosty frosty ghost, frosty ghost. thanks for coming I, and that's landon that's one of my friends thanks for uh, there you showing go. up yeah thank you thank you for the follow frosty ghost uh the I xavier that appreciates right. that i appreciate that anyway uh also if you're into uh, social media facebook herb in the brakes <laughs> Instagram, Twitter. We do have uh, social media pages, many social media pages. If you'd like to follow us there, we also have a YouTube page. Uh, I think uh, Richard Jeremy Pro will. Uh, he'd be so kind. Look at that. He's already throwing stuff up there. We have a YouTube page. If you'd like to watch our YouTube videos, uh, we got a Discord. Don't forget about our Discord. Uh, that's where you can come and join us and chat and talk and all of those avenues are places that you can find Warp Drive TV, all kinds of stuff, right? And there's a shout out for Richard. I'm surprised, I'm surprised, I'm surprised you didn't end it in your your typical way after you do all the exclamation points. Oh, here we go. The connect from jetway. Here comes the jetway. Doors opening. Oof. All right. Oh, you you did a great job parking and all that. Like wow. Your yeah. FPS takes a nosedive when you're landing, though, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. when you have to load an old scenery. It, it yeah. is. Oh, oh, floating doors! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. That did really good don't, with that one. Don't exit out there. That's a, that's a good five-foot drop. <laughs> yes, it is. All right, and then all I have to do next is uh, i got to get baggage service. DFW ground American 6906, could you please send the baggage? American 6906 baggage is on the way. And uh, I need the power supply so I can turn off my engines. DFW ground American 6906, could you please send a ground power unit? And while we're at it, we'll get the catering service so they can take off all the food and stuff. DFW ground American 6906, could you please send the catering truck? American 6906, the catering truck. All right. Rich is going to think this is the coolest thing ever. Watching the actual animation of luggage being put onto the aircraft. <laughs> nice. There's the catering truck right there coming to the left. Here comes the uh, tug. Drop but off yet they this. can't show the people on the plane. Yeah, fortunately. I don't know why that is, but... Yeah, yeah uh, buffering. Buffering hardcore. Yeah, I am a little bit... I had to just drop down a little bit, and... Uh, FPS, I'm not recovering from it either. So, uh, I don't know if anyone else has any issues, but right now, you can see... Rich, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there goes the luggage of the conveyor belt. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, now I just have to get back inside. Hopefully, it fixes that issue. Wasn't it frames? There it goes. Okay, being outside the aircraft caused that issue. We don't know that anymore. 
it got a little stuttery. Yep. Yeah, I should have fixed it now. Yep, we're right back up. Okay. Just it just took a lot of the GPU to be able to do that. Anyway. Turn off landing lights. All these lights are off. Now there's a very distinctive sound that this plane makes. Rich, you may have heard it before since you've flown on these. Uh switch over my power to outside. I'm gonna shut down engine two. I don't need both of you to be quiet when I shut down engine one. But when I shut down engine two and you hear it slowly off. There it goes. Very low rumble that you <laughs> can I can actually feel. Right? That's good. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Completely shut off this one. I'm just waiting for the engine to go down. Right. When I do shut off engine one, it's, it's called the PTU. Power transfer unit. It is the pressurization for the hydraulic unit switching off. It makes a distinctive what they call bark barking sound. You've probably heard it before. You have to listen very closely into the stream to hear it. Just waiting that for that to get down to point three. Alright, good to shut down engine one. Now it's gonna happen kinda quickly. Especially once it's getting ready to turn off. I'll be quiet so you can hear. There it was. That is the sound it makes. Thanks for being quiet. Hold on, we're like, we're like 15 seconds behind you. Oh, yeah, that's right. Ah, nice. Yep. Rich heard it. I don't know if Warp Drive did. Yeah, I heard it. That's okay. cool. Yeah, that is the that sound is what it makes in real life. So, all right, uh, we got external power. I am connected. All I have to do at this point is tell everyone to leave me alone. So basically, yeah, Warp Drive TV, he told you to shut impressed. up on his stream, just so you did. know. And that's did. that's what he meant. Oh, shut up. I need that. While this is going on, he told me to shut up on my Twitch page. While streaming on my channel. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, yes. All right, we turn off the batteries and uh, external power. I think just for him saying that, you should buy Weeaboo Bree a cat. Make him make him <laughs> feel like he, he make him feel the way he made you feel, and well, buy her a cat. Listen, as uh, since you mentioned uh, getting a cat, uh, I will. I will shamelessly plug my YouTube page because uh, my daughter, Weeaboo Bree, has uh, got me uh, producing some YouTube videos of a anime horror novel game called uh, Doki Doki Literature Club. She's got me, she's got me doing some of those, and uh, I told her if she wants to work on these videos and get me a half million views for this series, then I'll consider getting her a cat. So you could do your part by helping her out, Rich, if you. Uh, go to the YouTube channel and watch those videos oh. a half a million times. Would you? Do you really want me to do this? Because I will reload uh, and that aircraft over and over and over again. It'll take you a million years. Good to go. Ah, oh, that's all good. And all right, we shut down the aircraft's uh, electrical system. Turn that off, and we'll turn the batteries off. Here we go. Man, it Aircraft does. Shut it down. does. It does not like when you go outside the cockpit. It did not. Outside, man. Nah, he said it. He said it. We're kidding. Another flight. <sighs> Two out. Uh, we can do a really small one. Definitely. But that is the end of that, and I just need to make sure that validate that. That went through. I need to make sure it went through my logbook. Logbook. Did not attach to the right destination. Not here. All right. Hey, me manual. I was clicking on the wrong thing. I knew what I was doing. Yeah, 
I don't know what it isn't like, but it does not like me doing that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Frosty goes, I'll, I'll try to, uh, another flight here. Something short, because that was, that was supposed to be an hour and 40 minutes, but because, you know, I like to slide slow and steady. What, it was like two hours and, what was it at when we landed? 15 minutes, maybe? I don't remember. Uh -huh. Yeah, it was skip frames, and he has pretty bad too, because it was at 48% at one point. So. What, oh, why well. don't you, uh, Xavier, why don't you fly a little plane around New Philly Dover? <laughs> <sighs> yeah, let's, let's see. Can, here. can you take off from Harry Cleaver Field? Yeah, I can. So, really? I'm gonna, yeah. Um, and fly over our house. Yep. Okay, we gotta see this. Uh, says no. Actually, the texture on my head. Oh, what the hell did I go? That's like the smallest plane ever. I don't know which one I want. We need some small though, because you'll never see our house. That's a nice aircraft. We'll just go with this, the diamond. Alright. It's selected. Uh don't work on it. That I want to turn it off though, because that won't I'm flying <laughs> an airliner this time, so Frosty Ghost says we need a huge plane. Yeah, take a take off in a in a, a oh, huge airbus from Harry Cleaver. Yeah. <laughs> we do have the seven forty sevens. Uh no, there's not enough runway. Or else it would do that. Fly. Live weather, live air traffic, live weather. Five Fli players. Oh, the it's flight numbers. The flight number's got to be 330. Well, I won't have one because here at Cleverfield actually does not have oh, gotcha. air traffic control, so it doesn't matter. All right. Here is it? Mainsfield. Is that it right there? Akron Canton. Also, we're right about here. Yeah, there it is. Two. There's actually an aircraft over here right now. That's Columbus there. Set as departure. Field. Make sure I take off this way so we can go 33 right. I am going to change that off. So that in case it's cloudy. <laughs> All right. I have loaded in here before, so it shouldn't take too long. <laughs> Skipping frames again. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> fly to Lexington, Kentucky. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's where you live, right, Frosty? I know you live in Kentucky. Little. Uh, that's a really long flight, too. I mean, I could, in theory, take this, uh, well, not look at this aircraft right here, but I could definitely take a, a, a small Cessna without uh, any issue. Actually, skip the song. Uh, I think I caused it. I think what I'm going to do, or drive, is turn down the, uh... Turn down for what? Hit rate. Especially when I went outside the aircraft, it would bring it Turn all the way down. down the Turn down for what? But it's not an internet so you, issue. You said, it's you, just... you said you're gonna, you said you're going to turn down. That's good. Nice. <laughs> I get it. All right, here we are in New Philadelphia, Ohio. Ohio. This is Harry Cleverfield. This is East High over there, but I, ah, oh, beautiful. All oh, that sun is killing frames, like, things I don't want to think of. I just said that. Anyway. <laughs> this, this almost looks like uh, the actual airport. Right, I'm bringing time of day. We'll turn off, we'll turn on clear skies, so I have less things to worry about. Oh yeah, might as well just go into general here. Uh, traffic, turn that off completely. Second, to erase 
Erase all that off. Oh, did we crash the game? Oh, no, we didn't. Alright, good. So I gained some FPS by doing that. Alright, good. That's like a helicopter. Do you guys hear the audio? <laughs> Hmm. Alright, and the external view? Alright. We'll take off. I'm not 100% sure how to fly this aircraft. Parking brake released. Throttle forward. Throttle all the way forward. Oh, whoops. This thing is slow. Alright. So I'm actually taking off towards the north. Alright, and we get lift off yet? Nope, not yet. <laughs> it's so freaking slow. There's the end of the runway. There, we're up. It doesn't have gear, so. No, no. Oh man, frame rates. Actually, don't bad for you, good. Rich. Yeah, it is oh, down right bit. now. Mine keeps stopping and buffering it. It's it's playing in like it's playing in like uh oh gosh what is it? Quality right now is in 360p. Then, <laughs> then it jumps up to 1080 and goes back to 360. Oh yeah, it's really it's bad there. All over the place. All right, I'm trying to still fly. I can pause the aircraft by clicking pause brake. Enough for me. Give it a second here. No, it's not improving at all. I stopped moving the aircraft and it didn't even go up. No. Alright, uh, well, I'll still try to go outside the aircraft to show you that this is in New Philadelphia. In minute though, I gotta showcase here. That is the Newtown Mall. Right in front of me. Uh, I, I can't I'm so see. buffering. Okay. Yeah, I can't see anything. It's just so. It's weird. It's like I'm in 360 quality and uh, the screen's just froze. We might have too much going on. Might be with all those windows down like that. Like too much is loading in. Hold on. It... Mm -hmm. One second, I'm gonna try something here, and I should, probably should do this the screen, but there's a lot of stuff I don't, I have open in the background that I can probably close. Not Discord, almost close Discord. Yeah, don't do that. All right. Is it better? No, it got worse again. Fair enough, I have flown over the house though, so, in my defense. Well, you guys really won't be able to see it. Don't sink, don't sink, don't sink, don't um, sink. I'm flying right over top of the Newtown Mall. Uh, I was trying to see if I can't see more landmarks. That's 70, that's 250 right there. I actually need to turn this way. Oh well. If I got higher yeah. up in altitude, that wouldn't be an issue. I, I, I don't know what happened, but it's not, it's no bueno. At all anymore? Yeah, nah, it's completely frozen into one spot. Yeah, it's all right. not done. I can hear the audio, but the pic, the picture's doing nothing. Your, uh, your, your CPU must be going nuts right now. Uh-uh, -uh, my CPU's at 5%. Oh, it's at 25. Hold on a second hmm. here. As we diligently Uh oh. Black screen. Okay. Oh, it is. Yeah. Like, even your webcam. You are issues. frozen, yeah. So, it's not the game. Your webcam, everything is like...
No. Yeah, your webcam still uh, froze up. I mean, your audio is good. You're, but... you're, you're. Okay, I reloaded, and you're fine. Busy. Yep. Let me reload. Let me reload now. Why don't you reload Warp Drive TV, and then shut up while you're at it? Nice. Like he said earlier. This is my channel. <laughs> Richard Jeremy Pro. Richard Jeremy Pro. All right, yeah, it's working for me now. Your webcam looks off, just very far off to the right. Yes. It, yeah, he's got a different webcam, so <clears throat> when he goes back to the regular scene, the main scene... What webcam is he using? His own. <laughs> What'd you buy? Oh, an off-brand? Warp Drive, what are you using, webcam? I got a lot I got Logitech. I don't know. I don't know what I don't know what model it is. I'm not sure. Um, I might have. I have the Logitech Brio. Oh man, I was trying to. Mine can go up to 4K. I want to get a. I want to get a DSLR camera though. Are you playing Simple Rockets 2? No, he's playing Simple Rockets 2. Back. Ah. It work. Yes. It. Now, we have learned a few things from tonight. What are those things that we have learned? My bit rate was too high. Works for Warp Drive whenever he's doing marbles, but when you have a game that looks just as good as mine did, it's <laughs> not working anymore. I'm already skipping frames again. I'm not even in the game. I've just been streaming for so long that there's just given out at this point. It's I would awesome. hope not. Anyways. Um Oh, and by the way, uh, Frosty Ghost, who was here, I don't know if he still is or not, said uh, he's trying to work up to affiliate status as well. He is a streamer, so if you want okay. to go check him out. I don't know if I can do this dash SO. A shout out to him. Does that work that way? I don't know how it works. Yep. Exclamation SO and then type in his name. But uh, I don't if he's... Not in the channel, it may not uh, work. But if you type the whole name out correctly, it'll probably take Yeah, it, it did work. There, I got yeah. a shout-out for him. We'll go check his channel out. He's actually streaming Call of Duty Modern Warfare right now. He's doing a mini round. Yes, he is. So, yeah, go ahead and check him out, too, as we dynamically scream at ourselves after <laughs> that mm -hmm. issue, which we did learn. Um... Of course, I'm not used to using Streamlabs either. I use OBS. I would have, I would have used that tonight. I think when I can stick with that, that's a right warp drive. It's fine with me. I do like. I you know what? I can take the intro and stuff, uh, an outro, and put it in. I, I wanted to show you. If I can. I've done a few flights, and we are currently on not. Well, it's what it calls Mars, uh, but it is. Uh, Something else here. Let me, uh, I don't know. Hmm. See about that. Oh, my rover flipped over. Oh, how unfortunate is that? <laughs> uh, all right. Hold on. He did flip over. Where's my music at? Is it going to play? There we go. Don't forget to change the name of the uh, 
game yeah. that you're playing, you'll get hit for that. Can I do that Twitch during... Do... Twitch, tw yes, Twitch will like that. Yeah, edit your stream tile, here it is. Not, ti like, not exactly title, but the game. What game is this called? Simple... Simple Rocket 2! Oh, it's a game that isn't on Twitch. Oh, game changed the game. <laughs> you can put it in just chatting then, I believe. Yeah, that works. Okay, play. For you, buddy. okay. Oh, did you change everything for me? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Oh, it's there. Yeah, it's just didn't have, a, didn't have a space here. All right. I wanted to see... Uh, no, 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 no. I don't want to mess with any of that. Where's the space station? International Space Station. Here it is. Must be on the night side of Earth. What are, what are the initials for that? For what? The International Space Station. ISS. Hmm. Oh, he said it again! You said ISIS. ISIS. You keep saying ISIS. <laughs> Stop Stop that. You it. guys can't see the International Space Station, but here it comes. And there it is. It's dark. It is really dark. That's one of the things. I did just launch in the flight there. Oh, I can't find it. The Falcon 9? Falcon 9 is out there. That's the Auto Mars mission. These are the things I've made, which you can see I'm not very creative. That just landed. That just landed. That is currently flying. Ouch, that hurt. But I think, do we want to launch a spaceship? Launch think a Sputnik. Sputnik. Soviet Russia spaceship launches you. Ah, <laughs> uh, shoot. Load aircraft. I want watch station far for. What's really cool about this game is you can actually download the aircraft. So if I wanted to go in here. I don't know what that is. Uplink cannon. That would never fly. All kinds of different stuff you have in here. Oh, they have the uh, the Chinese rocket ship. It's called the China TQ2. They can launch that to the ISS. <laughs> no, nothing that time. Good. I like it that <laughs> way. Um, man, what is that? Oh. <laughs> it's called the Lonely Astronaut. Oh well. They even have aircraft and boats. If you wanted to land a boat in this game, we could. But I think we're under the Atlas. Did you say a boot? Hmm. There is a boats. Boot. Yeah, there is warp boats. Drive, warp drive, I heard a boot. A boot. A boot. Yeah, that's what that's all about. This is the Mars mission. Mars 2020. Oh, he's an inventor. That's neat. Okay. We're going to try to launch this. It's been a hot second since I've done this. So we'll... Are we ready? Would you ever want to go to Mars? No. Yeah, it'd be something interesting. Where did the... Uh... Orbit. Why no, Warp Drive? Why no? Um, I don't think that I would... Uh, I mean, not as of right now. Mm -hmm. Because uh, they're going to need to have... They're going to need to have some type of underground bases set up. And and they're going to have to have a real good way to travel to and from... Holy crap! And right now, you know, it's... it's like, right, it... it... <laughs> I 
would do it. Mars is Mars is the place I I, I want to visit, and I wouldn't care. You still can't hear me. That is so loud. Mars is desolate, barren, and there ain't nothing there. So it's like that you know of. Go underground. There could be civilizations. Could be, could be, but you would think that. Um, if, I mean, if there is, they don't ever come above ground. You so there. Go that. Oh, come on, man. We got we got orbiters Whoa. around the planet. We got rovers on the planet. <laughs> and you see, you see. Just like, just like on the dark side of the... I'm not having some shorts going on. We're having a conspiracy. Oh, not with you guys. I'm having some issues with the, uh... Yeah, you're flying upside down. You're gonna crash. This is what I wanted you to do in the plane. <laughs> See, this is why I'm not going to Mars. <laughs> <laughs> some of the pigs in in the rocket. <laughs> well, for some reason... Your gyroscopic that. instruments aren't working correctly. Yeah, because... Is this Mars or is this Earth? Th this is its version of Earth, what it's called, but... I ran out of fuel. Because you still have all your rockets and everything attached. Yeah, unfortunately. About <laughs> <laughs> four seconds till I slam back into the Earth. Wow. Well, um, right, the rest of the flight is kind of just manual. That's well, it's automatic, in a way. It's giving me PTSD of the 1980s. <laughs> Don't even say it. I shouldn't have said it. And I didn't repeat it, so we're good. And Warp Drive didn't say anything either. Yeah, he just snickered. <laughs> I don't know if he heard you. Did he? Someone snickered, I don't know. Call me Mr. Snicker. <laughs> How are you looking? Oh! But are you going to break orbit? Oh, we're gonna make a weird orbit! <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, see how the, uh, see these little lines right here? You know, they load mm -hmm. onto your stream? They are, uh, actually, they're the lines for the satellite orbits that are going on. Here's going to be my orbit. <laughs> it's not going to be at all in the same direction. Mm -mm. And that isn't my fault. Unfortunately, uh, this aircraft apparently needs to launch up straight first for a lot longer before you start your... It's called the narrow turn. Didn't know that. So when I'm about 30 well, seconds away. I don't away, even think you're going to go. All it shows a big, huge burst of energy, which I think might be a crash. Lock velocity, and then I just <laughs> floor it the next stage. Which I will hit. Okay, we officially ran out of gas, and then we'll break apart. Break apart don't again. Have, don't you have secondary rockets or anything? Break apart again. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. We are officially no longer parked. You've uh, broken off. Here we go. We have officially broken off. And now, off. because you went off path, all those pieces are going to crash into someone's. Yeah, it's probably going to crash into one of the. Uh, that's probably the ISS. <laughs> he said it again. <laughs> hey, man, his ISIS. ISIS. He's gonna get me banned. It's going to get me banned. We have been sharing for three hours. Do we have to go for five? No. <laughs> I might play this much longer. We did learn a lot tonight. I can land a plane. 
after flying it for two hours. Yes. Rich knows how to make uh, Twitch clips. Yep. All right, there's Orbit. Into it, the matchup. Right. 158. There we have it. We have achieved orbit. Oh goodness. Here we are. I don't know how we did it because this thing is. I don't know what this is. Does it break apart more? Something just happened. And that was the last one, too. Oh, there it goes. That was a fuel tank. Do you have any oh! left? It blew up. <laughs> <laughs> um... And I want to be really funny. I can do this. Want to go back to planet Earth? <laughs> Just press that blast and push you down. Oh! Gotta recontrol that burn. He packed his bags last night. Last night. Pre-flight. Pre Zero out. 9 a.m. There we go. I'm gonna use the rest of my burn to get back to Earth. And I'm gonna be high. <laughs> as, as a, a kite, kite by then. By then. And I think it's gonna be a long, long time till touchdown brings me around again to find. Did you ever listen to him sing, Mr. Tambor? No. Oh my goodness. You need to look it up and listen to it. That go. Look, one guy is playing uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. He's got 3.9 thousand people watching him. That's unbelievable. How do you do that? Just a little bit more than what you've had. Just, just, just a small bit. It's pretty close. Well, we are going to burn off the rest of the fuel we have to land, hopefully, back on. Oh, it's frozen this... on my screen. What is it? No, it's because I didn't. Your cam's running. so running. Yeah, it's like the game froze. Well, that was. There it goes. There it goes. No. You could have used that burn to get you to Mars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could have. I just don't know how to get there. Or at least Jupiter. There's the moon. Coming. <laughs> <laughs> Unlocked current heading. Locked redial. Radial in. <laughs> well, here we go. You know, you're flying. You're flying downwards. Oh, okay. Never mind. I am flying. I was pushing downwards. Yeah, you're right. It looked it looked like you were going up with those numbers that were accumulating, which was funny. We're re-entering the atmosphere. The point this way. Anti-normal. What? Locked velocity retrograde. Locked radial out. Time warp limited craft is on course to enter the atmosphere. <laughs> All right, we're gonna exterminate. Right exterminate. We're gonna land in the ocean. I don't have parachutes. You don't have a pair of shoes. Oh, there we go. We are re-entering at old crap. Really fast right now. You can actually see the red glow. Uh, start a burn. We're coming in hot. And again, full burn. Press start. 
We're still we still have not entered the atmosphere yet. We're going so fast that friction is just melting us alive. It's the ocean though. We don't have to worry about too much. Except for drowning and sharks. It'll cool us off though. Only Rian. About thousand mannequins burn. Pretty burn. I crash. Here we go. Get out your parachutes. Oh, you don't have any. But apparently we float, so that's all that matters. Can I still take off from here? No. I flooded the end. Oh! Still got the water effect on the camera. Well, we did it. And the flight here, save and exit, right? If I go out... Maybe. Out of here. That aircraft save, exit. Game struggling both. Look. Voila! Atlas 5. Sitting in the ocean. Delete. Destroy. It's really funny because all the other pieces don't exist now. Alright, let's uh. Let's... You can fire the TARDIS in me. Yeah, I was thinking we're at. Three hours and 21 minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and, uh... Ducky! Ducky! Wobble feet! Alright, you getting ready to end, buddy? Alright, so while you're looking... Here, I, I, I got someone. I want you to... I, I'll, I'll take care of the raid. Alright, um, so thanks for uh, coming and checking out uh, Best Gaming as he streamed uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 and uh, just a little bit of uh, Simple Rockets there at the end. But uh, we appreciate that you guys were here. Um, or if you're not here now and you watch the rest of this later on the VOD, I uh, appreciate you taking the time to check us out. Don't forget to follow us. Uh, check us out on our social media platforms. We are on Facebook, Instagram, and we've got Twitter, YouTube, and Discord. I know Richard Jeremy, he's probably going to be typing all that stuff I talk and type up all this raid and information because he's cool like that he's like oh crap i wasn't thinking about it <laughs> no i wasn't uh no it's okay so um we're gonna we're gonna send a raid out now uh we're gonna return the favor our buddy uh, jay tonic raided us uh, last night we're gonna raid back to him uh right now today that's how that's how we do it man so when we get in there make sure you uh throw that out and uh we, we had a lot of fun xavier made a real-time flight from tampa florida all the way to dallas fort worth texas and uh, successfully landed the plane. Richard Jeremy was a smart aleck as usual, and we always appreciate when he's a smart aleck. Boop, and, boop. Uh, he makes unnecessary comments, and he can't stop himself whenever he posts uh, our commands for Streamlabs. <laughs> Some people were even typing exclamation point play because they're so used to us playing marbles, even though we weren't playing marbles today. Now, we are going to do marbles tomorrow, so we're going to be at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tomorrow for marbles. We'll probably go from 2 to, I don't know, <laughs> 5 o'clock. Yeah. Are you are you laughing at Xavier? Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, my microphone like wasn't turned on. on. Yeah, it was, but my yeah. microphone was turned on, so I couldn't do anything anyway. <laughs> yeah. It looked like he was doing the sign the, the ASL sign language. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's trying to he's trying to do the sign for me. So anyway, we appreciate you guys stopping out today. So yeah, i I am talking, but you don't see me because that's my son. He's on the cam. He was he was the one doing the stream tonight. Yeah. Um, you can follow him uh, on the best gaming uh, here on Twitch as well. 
and uh, he likes to stream sometimes on our channel. So he was uh, taking the helm and running some Microsoft Flight Simulator. We appreciate that. So um, again, we're gonna we're gonna sh sh we're gonna do a raid. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do a raid. Um, and uh, oh, I don't think he did that right. I think it's exclamation point. Oh yeah, it was. I typed the wrong thing. You're right. This isn't Minecraft. <laughs> Wait, that didn't work either. What the heck? Why does it do it? Wait a minute. Oops. Oh, I had it. I had it the right first. I had it right the first time. <laughs> Apparently, it just doesn't work. There we go. Yeah, it, it's it's slash. Yeah, huh. I had it right the first time. Oh, it must not gone through. Okay. Yeah. So, are we good then? Is that all set in? Mm, we'll see if it works this time. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go ahead working. and. No, is it not? Wait a minute. It's not working. Um, I am not sure. There it goes. There okay, now yeah. it's popping up. There we go. Took a second. So, uh, yeah, Xavier, go ahead. And uh, so I know you haven't done this controls first, so you'll hit the outro. And once it's done, um, just wait for it to pop up the chat in the next stream, and then you can end the stream, okay? So thanks again, guys. We'll see you next time tomorrow night. Uh, or tomorrow afternoon, actually, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.